Hey everyone, Jordan here. In this video, my brother Nick and I attempt a hardcore Pixelmon challenge, a Nuzlocke for 100 days. If a Pokemon faints, we release it forever. And if we lose a single battle, our journey is over. We can only capture the first Pokemon we see upon entering a new Minecraft biome. With the exception of both legendary or mythical Pokemon and special forms of Pokemon, our primary goal is to defeat eight gym leaders, then take on the Elite Four and Champion. But other dangers lurk throughout the world. Boss Pokemon, overpowered or unexpected trainers, and and more stand in the way of our success. This is the story of what happened. Without further ado, let's go to the beginning. Good morning, Jordan. Welcome to day one of this Nuzlocke. Go ahead and grab your goods here, Jordan. You need to grab those goods. Those are going to be very important for you. And go and show your Pokemon. <laughs> we both picked the Plup. We both picked <laughs> Pip up just randomly. Yeah, we, we didn't have any, yeah. like, goal for this. And Jordan, mine's Randy, and he's chosen. And mine is Ploopers, and he's buying things from the Mart already. Oh, he doesn't have much confidence in me, dude. He's taking matters into his own hands. Oh, dude, he's buying, he's buying. You can't buy revives. They're not going to work in this. Oh. Oh, Jordan, he's trash. Oh no! He was in the trash. Actually, I don't. Uh, I don't know if you should have confidence uh, with him. Also, Pupers? are you okay with him roaming like that? No, I am not. Because if he gets into a fight on his own that I'm not ready for, I could lose the game immediately. So, Jordan, what I think would be a really good idea, because towns are safe zones, we should battle Pokemon within the mm, town smart. before we go out yeah. into the biome. Well, dude, also because we can heal immediately afterwards, because that is allowed in towns. Exactly. What is that over there? That's a Patrice. Not not what I'm. I'm looking for okay. there's a pikachu around as well that also <laughs> seems like a really bad idea so whenever we actually enter the routes that's when we have to catch the pokemon but right now we can just take a look ski around and view the area oh that's a pitchy level six. Oh wait we can take stuff from the town as well max revive's not gonna work so actually but i can sell that and buy more pokeballs and ninkata started fighting me i'm allowed to run from this but i think i could beat it this one here is level five it used sand attack once and now it used false swipe but so far i'm able to take it down it, it's looking good except it just it used sand attack again. It used another sand attack. Well, I hit. I don't think I have to use a super potion. As long as I hit, I missed. It used sand attack again. Oh, dear, Jordan, dude. why is this uh, so I crazy? Missed. Uh, I missed. I missed. I missed. Uh, it used false swipe. I am 5 HP. I am going to use a super potion here. I'm not about to go out on day one. <laughs> Nuzlocke's get intense fast. This Ninkata could end Nick's journey here and now. And even so, it's probably the least of our concerns. There's a boss Beedrill above us. There's a boss Beedrill. Uh, don't let that thing get near us. Also, yeah. I finally took it down. Dude, dude. That was way too difficult. And I only leveled up once, which doesn't even feel worth the super potion. But hey, <gasps> that's okay. My palms are sweaty. I'm going to the shopkeeper. Nick sells items that won't be useful during this challenge to purchase items that will be. He stocks up on various Pokeballs for capturing Pixelmon and Moo Milk for healing while in battle or out on a route. We're only allowed to use the Poke Heal command if we're in a town or another specified structure, like a gym or a randomly spawning Pokemon Center. Hey, hey, could I have one? Uh, well, we're not necessarily working together. Like, we can't trade, but, like, I don't see why not. I'm the one who looted the village, so. This is the kindest you've ever been to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jordan, I, I want some company, at least during this 100 days, you know? Nick keeps leading the town while I keep an eye out for weak Pokemon. We want to drain up Ploopers and Randy more before venturing out. That way, we're strong enough to capture our first Pokemon without our Piplups getting knocked out. Fletchling level 5 I could take down. This battle shows why Nick bought Moo Moo Milk. Even against a level 5 with a type advantage. This Fletchling almost takes down Randy the Piplup. The start is the scariest by far. I'm finally level 7, but when does Piplup Ooh. learn Water Gun? Is it level 10? I feel like this part here is more difficult than a normal Nuzlocke, because a normal Nuzlocke, you know, Route 1s have like level 2s and 3s. The difference is that it's a completely random encounter. We know what the encounter is going to be, but at least it's always going to be like level 2. You're not going to run into any level 11s like this. Yeah. Pineco level 5, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try to take it down. Do you want to take down? the boss hair cross that I found? No, Jordan, what? If you ever fight a boss in this series, it's over for you. <laughs> I'm 4 HP. I'm going to go for the pound, Jordan, okay? Okay. If I miss, it's over. Okay, I didn't miss, and I learned bubble at level eight. I'm gonna sleep. This is my home. Uh, why is everyone just looking at uh, me? Can you guys buzz off? Making it difficult to sleep, but uh, you guys don't okay. know the pain that we're in. We're doing a nuzlocke, you bozos. I didn't mean to call them bozos, Nick. I'm just stressed, you know. Oh, I, I understand. We pick up a few quests from the locals before continuing to train. 
This could eventually give us some loot that may or may not be useful. I don't know what level I want to get to before I leave town. As soon as I hit level eight, I'm going to look for a Pokemon that I know I can catch, and then I'm gonna go out and catch it. Really? That's kind of scary. It's scary too, but it opens up options because I'm gonna get different types of moves to one shot, and it also means that one Pokemon doesn't knock me out for the game. Now that Randy is armed with Bubble, Nick is taking down Ninkatas and Fletch things rapidly, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best. A Pikachu level six just wandered into town, dude. This could be scary, but I don't think it knows Thunder Shock yet. Don't battle that. Are you crazy? Well, it paralyzed me, so yeah, I'll run. Yeah, that's crazy. Don't ever battle that. What do you mean, man? It's in town, though. Don't ever battle that. It's right here. It's cute. Hey, Morlo. What is it like? Level? Well, it's not in town. D don't battle it, man. No, I can don't say it's, battle it's level it. seven. It's just not in town. It's like it's got a type advantage. How? It's fairy. Oh yeah, I forgot that I didn't have grass moves. It just feels like it should have grass moves too. Wait, it is. It is grass. <laughs> Sorry, you're not dead, right? I'll try the Pachirisu. I'm not as afraid of it as you. You know, you're, uh, during, you tend to have some failures with certain stuff and I'm understanding why <laughs> is a lack of patience. It, it is, is a lack of patience, Jordan. Oh, it does no spark, but uh, okay. If it yes, of course it does. Okay, if I miss, it kills me, but I got it. So, hey, I win. <laughs> I'm level nine. Did you Jordan, that kind of risk taking will eliminate you from this Nuzlocke. Like, that's just how it is. We have 100 days to get eight gym badges and beat the Elite Four, which by the way, it's the post-National <laughs> Dex Elite Four. So uh, Cynthia's got like nearly level 80s. Okay, dude, seriously, where, where are the Ninkatas? Right. Are they in the homes? Oh my goodness, why are you? I just got jump scared in Pixelmon. Wow. Oh, that's a trainer level 15. That's not something you can run from dude, either. No. So, uh, dude, 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 don't get battled by that. You'll lose. You're donezo. Yeah, Jordan, I, I'm away. It's amazing to me, Jordan. I remember when we did Let's Go Pikachu and you told me water moves aren't not effective against electric moves yep. or electric Pokemon. Yep. And I didn't know that for the longest time, oh. Jordan. <laughs> Whoa, I had no idea. You're the one who told me. I thought you were just trying to make me feel better. I'm warning you, stay away from the <laughs> lady with the green bandana. <laughs> It sounds like the title of a movie. <laughs> yeah, the daytime Pokemon are being doo-doo, so let's let's test out the nighttime ones. This town's very interesting, by the way. Hey, it's a grubbin in town. Sup, grub it's level 14. Never mind. <laughs> Dude, I almost threw my Pokeball at Zubat, but the lady was in the path <gasps> of Zubat. Okay, I'm gonna try to run. I got into a battle with the Grubbin level 14. I didn't like intend to, I ran, I ran, I ran. Oh, you got away immediately. That's really lucky. Jordan, it's all over now. I got Mud Sport. Does anyone ever use Water Sport? I can safely say that no one in the history of the world has ever used Water Sport. The Grubbin level 14 started battling me. I couldn't escape, I couldn't okay, escape. Okay. Use Bug run, Bite. Run, run, run. I'm 13 run, HP. Run. I can't use Moon Milk out. though. I've gotta, gotta run. run. Please let me. I escape. Oh, I escape. No. I poke heal. Dude, Dude, palms are so That's sweaty. Dude, my I gotta palms off. I wasn't if it used say Spark, it. I think it was over. I, he would. Yeah, it would have been over, dude. It used Bug Bite on me, too, and got me down to like nine HP. That's not cool, man. You know how we said towns are like super safe zones? They're not really that well, safe. Well, we haven't left the town yet, and I've been terrified this entire time. If we miss the catch on the first Pokemon we battle, we don't get to catch anything for that entire area, which means that. Until we find a new biome, exactly. which it's, it's scary going through your biome. <gasps> Pineco, you self-destruct. I lived, but it had self-destruct at level 10. Squovit's level 15, I kind of want to battle it, but if it gets a crit on like a scratch, it's kind of just over. Squovit level 15! Oh, it's battling me, I'm just gonna run. Sorry, I I just thought it was a Squovit, so I didn't care. Yeah, no, that's the that's the one I was talking about. Yeah, Jeez, sorry. That didn't raise any alarm no, bells. No, it's a squirrel, Nick. I, I'm not afraid of squirrels. You have the, the brain of a squirrel right now. No, I have the brain of a penguin. Ninkata, come over here. Oh, this Ninkata came over and started battling me. It knows self-destruct as well. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why is everything? They're all Voltorbs in disguise, Jordan. It's what Big Pokeball doesn't want you to know. I'm level 12. I'm about ready to move out, are you? I'm scared. We're both scared. But on the morning of day four, we must face our destiny and leave town. Before venturing out, we can scan our map or just look around for a Pokemon we want in our team. As soon as we enter a new biome, though, the first Pokemon we see is the only one we can capture. Oh, there's a Hatena right there. The is pretty sick. I might just go for the Hatena. I'm gonna look down, Jordan. I'm just gonna go right to it. I'm looking. First thing I saw, it's level 14. Dude. Oh, dear. I'm going to use one more bubble. I got a crit. That's dude. good. It's in yellow. It's just a little under half. Okay, that's awesome. I'm terrified of its moves, yeah. though, dude. 
It used aromatherapy. Wait, does this thing does this thing have any moves? Oh, if it has terrible moves, that's actually pretty unlucky for you eventually. I know. I'm using great a great ball right now. One roll, two roll, three roll. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! I caught in the first Pokeball. That's good training Congrats, too. Buddy. I'm going to run right back into town, Jordan, and use the Poke Heal. Let's see. It's got Psybeam. It's got Psybeam and Disarming Voice. Yo. That's solid. Oh, I have to name it too. I named it Lentil. Its name is Lentil. Fletchling will be my first Pokemon after Piplup, dude. I'll have the bird squad. <laughs> there is a different biome like right over there if we want to get a team of three, but I'm okay with staying slow. That execute is a little bit scary. Check it out, man. It's Boppin. I got Boppin. In all caps. If it wasn't all caps, I don't know if it would have the same feel. I like it. With the addition of Lentil and Boppin to our teams, we feel slightly more confident and start traveling to the first gym. We're battling the Sinnoh gym leaders based on Pokemon Platinum. So our first challenge is the rock type specialist, Rourke. Hopefully we evolve into Primplup and then we one shot his entire team. Do I keep fighting this Bunnelby? It's got flail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it for a little bit of a biscuit without any potion string. This is actually really scary. I'm gonna use a Moo Moo Milk. I only have four more Moo Moo Milks. Why did I give you any? Thanks, buddy. We scamper quickly through the forest because the longer we wander, the more danger we will find. While continuing forward, Nick notices that we're about to enter a new biome. So he looks down and scans the map for new recruits. Abra is a safe thing to go against, but it'd be really hard to actually catch. I'm going for a Talo because I want flying for the second gym. Hey dude, the first thing I found was a way to level seven. That works for me. This is where Talo should have been. Oh, seriously? Oh, I found a Rattata. That's what I first saw. <laughs> Dude, that's fine. There's a Turtwig around here too. Wouldn't that have been amazing? That would have been sick. Uh, Turtwig, get away from me. You're actually scary and it's also really hard to catch you. I caught Rattata drone, but I'm not exiting this battle until this Turtwig is far away from me. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it got into battle with me immediately. Okay, I escaped. The only issue though is I can't Poke heal, Jordan. Dude, check it out, by the way, man. I got Noodle. <laughs> you got Noodle. Well, Jordan, yeah. I got myself. They will be brother and... Well, mine's a sister, but... Robin and Noodle and Noodle. <laughs> like they're friends. <laughs> yeah, of course, Jordan. They're, they're from the same force. You know, they're from the same spot. I'm getting a lot less nervous. That's, that's when it's most dangerous. I know. I'm aware that overconfidence killed the cat. Yeah, I don't think that's the saying either. Oh, new, new, new place. I'm not in it yet. I found a tip. Timber. Timber is the one I found. Ah, there was an Eevee right there. That would have been really cool. I'm going to use Psybeam on it because I don't think that'll take it down, but it'll do good damage. It used Bulk Up. It used Bulk Up. Oh, dude, I took down the Timber. That's unfortunate. No Pokemon Birch Forest Hills for me. Birch Forest Hills specifically though. Oh, Birch Forest. It's a new place. I just entered into a new place. I don't see any Pokemon. <laughs> Where are the Pokemon, dude? Wait, the first one I may have seen was one of the birds in the sky. But I genuinely can't get to those, Jordan. That means that you technically lose your catch, I think, right? Not exactly. The next time Nick returns to this biome, he will be allowed to capture the flying beast, provided he actually remembers, which I'll be honest is unlikely since we didn't think to write down a list of the biomes we visited during these 100 days. Whoops. Oh, Jordan, I'm in a seasonal force. I didn't mean to step in it already. Wait, I don't think you catch repeats. Actually, I know that for a fact you don't catch repeats. Okay. But I did find a Burmy first, Jordan. So uh, I'm scared of this Burmy. Like, because man, there's a Taylor level five right next to it. Why couldn't it have been that? I feel like this is a really hard Pokemon to actually battle with my current team. One roll, two roll, oh. three roll, three Dude, roll, four, three four, roll, four, four roll. Dude, Let's go. Dude. I got Burmy. Bro. And also Randy's evolving off that. Let's go, oh, dude! So exciting, that is so man. perfect. Oh, thank goodness I bought that great ball. I'm going to protect Chug Jug with my life. <laughs> Chug Jug. Yeah, I just feel like the name really fits them. Jordan, also I see the town up ahead right now. I can see the gym rising above. I've entered a grove. Are you in a grove? No, and I never was in a grove. While I'm inexplicably and inexcusably lost, Nick gathers supplies from the town and explores the area before accidentally stumbling into a river. Wait, Jordan, I'm in a river. I just joined, Whoa, jumped in careful. a river, and the first Pokemon I saw was a Goldeen. I didn't even think about it. I did not mean to send out Chug Jug. I'm going to protect Chug Jug with my life. I got Goldeen with a Pokeball, Jordan. Your team is filling out, Nick. I see a Surskit and it's the only Pokemon I see. I might, I think I have to go for it to cross this river. So Jordan, I don't really plan to keep uh, my Goldeen named Pixelmon in my team. <laughs> You just named it Pixelmon? Well, because I don't plan to keep it in my team, and I I thought of other names, but they weren't very good. Would you rather me name it Grandfather? <laughs> you know what? Now that I've heard the other names, no, no, you did a good job. Oh, hey, buddy. Are you ready to meet my Surskit? Do I have it's to? It's Grandpappy. No, don't. <laughs> Is it even a guy? Yeah. 
<laughs> but I didn't know that before naming. <laughs> I know you didn't know. I just realized, Jordan, three of my Pokemon are named after food. Lentil, ramen noodle, and chug jug. Oh, four. Randy, two. I will point out that it is before lunch. This deerling just tried to kill me, by the way. They do that. This max revive is worthless, so I'm going to sell that. Ice heals. Let's be real. When do you use them? Whenever your Pokemon is frozen. Th that's when you use them. Shut up. I like dude, this town is almost merged with the forest that surrounds it. So the Pokemon dudes seem to spawn all throughout this place. You know? I know, it's very nice. Oh, Cramorant. Yo. Dude, that would have been such a good power spike to get a Cramorant. After our brief training session, Nick decides to challenge the gym. Since we chose water starters, this gym should be a cinch for us to defeat. Also, I want to point out that we are allowed to use the Poke Heal command in gyms because in the main games, you're allowed to leave and heal at a Pokemon center, which is what Poke Healing accomplishes. So far, so good. I'm taking down these trainers. Honestly, they're not as good trainers training as I would have hoped. Why is Bubble still the move? Bubble is one of the worst moves that's ever been created. <laughs> now I love it. I'm glad it exists. It is terrible. That's a fact. That is just objective truth. Level 18. When do I learn a better water move? Because I'm actually right. a little bit scared to battle this. Wait, can't we check? Yes. Bubble Beam level 19. I'm level 18. I'm going to get to level 19 so I have Bubble Beam before I challenge the gym leader. I'm getting a bee drill, dude. Yippee. Oh, nice, Jordan. That's going to help you in the rock gym. <laughs> Shut up. I put you down so quickly there. <laughs> so effortlessly, Jordan. I haven't been slapped that hard in the entire series yet. Yeah, like, oh, wow. man. Hey, at least got... we made it today, what, six? Jordan, there's a man trapped in a well. Oh, no. He has a quest. What could it be? Probably to get him out of this super tall well. Can you locate a Poco loot for me? Okay. You sure that that's your number one priority right now, sir? No, maybe I go for it. No, don't go for it. Get Bubble Beam. I'm going for it, I think. Get Bubble Beam, man. You don't understand. What don't I understand? I one shot the first one and hit level 18. I one shot the second one, almost hit level 19. And now I've one shot the Cranidos and I didn't hit level 19 off it, but I got the first badge, dude, yippee. After hearing of my victory, Nick decides to take on Rourke too. We also noticed that the backpacks aren't working or maybe we're dumb. We make it difficult to tell. Durant, so to clarify, everyone is a little bit scuffed. This is scuffed Rorik, <laughs> it's not quite Rorik. It's, it's working Rorik, you know, he's, he's had a hard day at work and it is what it is. Give me Bubble Beam, Cranidos. Give, I didn't one shot Cranidos, Jordan. Really? I did. Yeah, I've got a really bad nature. I one shot everything at level 17. <laughs> well, I now, Jordan, oh my goodness, four of my Pokemon leveled up. I no longer have Bubble. For I have Bubble Beam. We put the gold badge in its rightful place. Let's go, dude. We stock up on new items before getting ready to trek to fight Gardenia in the next town. This could be a daunting gym to face since it features grass type specialists and grass is super effective against our penguins. One last Poke Hill before venturing out. Oh yeah, well, man, flips. <laughs> I forgot to. I'll use a, I'll use a push on Randy. Oh, I think this is the grove right here, Jordan. I got lost in this grove. First Pokemon I see is an Abra. Don't you dare run over here, Jordan, for the chance that, you know, you scare it away. I'm gonna battle with it. It's going to immediately teleport away. If it runs, I feel like I can still catch it, right? If it, right? Hey, well, I caught it in the well, first Ultra Ball, so dude. that's actually really, really cool. I've got an Abra and a Nuzlocke. Yo! And it's got a, Jordan, it's got a great nature. It's already got 35 special attack at level 13. That is actually insane. Abra is a solid catch to prep for the next gym too, since a lot of the signature grass Pokemon are dual type poison. I'm gonna show you my new Abra, who I'm very, very fond of already. He will be the strongest Pokemon ever, the strongest magic type Pokemon magician, Jordan, named Tinkle Trunks. <laughs> It's just, and he's enormous too. Look at him. If he ever dies, Shuren, I don't know if I could go on. I mean, it's just the greatest name I've heard in my entire life. I love Tinkle Trunks, man. Man, I've never utilized these berries that much. Well, because normally they're worthless. Oh, wait, we're about to enter into a new biome, by the way. You just did, Jordan. Oh, oh, I'm here. Shrubland, first thing I see is this Geodude right here. I think I see a Nubble. Who is level 25. I found a level five Nubble. Oh, well, I one shot the level 25 Geodude and I don't regret it though. I think I'm gonna one shot the Nubble. Because yeah. like, I was hoping it would have sturdy, but also it's terrifying. Of course, the second one level 14 has sturdy. Hey, Nick, all of my Pokemon can one shot Nubble right now. I, I tried to use my Sir Skid and it just didn't. It just just didn't work out. Sometimes that's life. Oh, new biome join. I think this is the weird one. The weird one? No, this is just brushland. It's a tiny little brushland. It's a yamper. I found you, dude. Okay, if I don't one shot it, I'll catch it. Oh, it could have sturdy. This got actually be perfect. It didn't. What's a British sounding name that starts with a P? Petunia. It is a girl actually. So yeah, its name is Petunia. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know Let's go! <laughs> I don't know if it sounds British or if the word Petunia is fun to try to say like a British person. Wait, did I Poke Heal? It doesn't say I Poke Heal at any point. Wait, did I Poke Heal? But why? Wait. Why do I have wait, full moves again? Wait, my Pokemon are all full, full HP. Wait, what when you level here? up, do they. What? So it takes us a little bit to figure this out, but your Pokemon heal when you rest for the night. This could be a double back-to-back -back biome. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking. This is a desert here. I got a critical hit, but it has sturdy, but it could take down Primplup. It used Stealth Rock, that's fine. I need to use this Ultra Ball and it needs to work. So this is my Mesa Pokemon, by the way. Not Mesa Plateau, but Mesa Pokemon. I got a Graveler. Finding back-to-back -back biomes like this helps us grow our teams fast. While Nick got Graveler, I'm catching Hippotus. Then before moving into the Mesa and other variations of the Dusty Dunes, Nick adds Graveler to his team. Not only is it a solid Pokemon overall, Nick thinks its sturdy ability will be useful in alleviating Nuzlocke stress too. Unfortunately, that means that Ramen Noodle Rattata is out of the team. For now, at least. He might come back if I have some accidents. <laughs> Boppin' the Fletchling evolves after catching my hippo. Then Nick's Tinkle Trunks evolves too. Unfortunately, I miss my opportunity to capture a Mesa Pokemon because the Aran I saw first ended up using Roar. The general rule is that if a Pokemon flees when you're trying to catch it, you can't attempt another catch until you reach the next area. Oh, wow. Man, this desert's such good training for us though. Oh, I'm in a Mesa Bryce and the first thing I see is a Karkle. I didn't know it was going to be a different biome. I really didn't. Oh wait, is this a different biome? Yeah, it, it does a lot of damage. My bubble beam did not take down. It put on a sliver of HP, dude. I only have great balls left. This is terrifying, man. I should have switched out. Oh man, Jordan, I don't have a Pokemon to switch out to. Oh, there's a Bweasel up here. This counts. Even though that clearly didn't spawn here. Jordan, I'm panicking here. You panic, I'm having fun. Three rolls, please, please, please. No, I didn't catch it, I didn't catch it, I didn't catch it. A Jordan, one more ancient power and Randy's done for. I'm going to have to sacrifice Graveler maybe. Maybe I should just take this down, but I really want to fire Pokemon. Oh. Jordan, I forgot to even name Graveler and he's gone. Oh, that's the most sad. And now the thing is, I really, really badly want this car cool, but I might have to sacrifice someone else. Nick, I've decided since you can see me right next to you, I don't need this Bweasel. And it's so likely, dude, that if I swap out to try to catch it, one of my Pokemon dies. I'm killing Bweasel. I only have Pokeballs left. This thing is so low. Turn on a Oh, dear, dude, here. One roll, three, th three roll. No, 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 no. I'm so low, dude. I, I'm gonna try one last Pokeball. This is not, oh. this This wasn't the play. I should've just taken this down, Jun. Oh, I you're right. Two rolls, yeah, but still. three rolls. Oh, come on. No! no. You smoke screen. Oh, dude. I mean, I got him, right? It already took you down. Got it. Dude, you've already got it. You're in it now. You have to catch One it. Roll. You have to capture Three the beast. Roll. Three roll. Three roll. Four roll. Let's Four go. Roll. Oh. Oh, I like that, though. That's the first Pokemon I've had that got oh. taken down, too. Chug Jug is evolving. Chug Jug is evolving. Chug Jug. Chug, oh, chug, man. chug, chug. Let me throw you half of my potions, okay? There's five. If you need to heal anything before we keep going. I'm gonna name Graveler before I release him. I feel, I actually feel really bad for what I just did. I named him Failure and I'm getting yeah. rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is kind of messed up. It's pretty darn messed up. Well, Jordan, I'm going to name Car oh. Cool. Uh, <laughs> in honor of Graveler, its name is Graveler. I approve, yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh man, I think that was the right thing to do. Okay, so none sad. of my Pokemon have any HP. Let me use some potions oh. here. Dude, we just found the tragic and difficult side of Nuzlocke's. Oh, Heleptile is the first one I found. Nice. I don't want it. After a rough night, we carry on towards the next gym, finding a desert temple on the way. Yamask yeah, spawns in here, dude, look. Yeah, different Pokemon do spawn in here. This place does not count as a new biome, so we can't catch the Pixelmon. It's still fun to find unique spawns though. Give me money. We gather what loot we can before surfacing to capture new Pokemon on our way through the dry landscape. Desert Hills right now. Are you kidding me? The first thing I see is Helioptile. Oh, it is an oasis. Okay, dude, I'm in an oasis now, by the way. So I'm gonna see what I can. <gasps> There's a Fennec in here. I can catch this. I'm truly very happy. Dude, I think this is going to be a new biome here. I don't want to go into new biomes right now. I don't have enough Pokeballs. It's a Chaparral. And the first thing I saw was a Farfetch right off the bat. And it even got into a battle with me. So. Hey, dude, I mean, that that seals the deal there, man. Oh, Jordan, this thing does too much damage. It's not yeah. worth me trying to catch. Don't, it's don't really do it sad because you want to have as many Pokemon as you can in these Nuzlocks. Even though if you black out, it's over, obviously, immediately. It's still really, really nice to have substitute two Pokemon because some of the fights you're going to inevitably lose Pokemon. Nick spots the gym from atop the chaparral, so we make our way to town. Dude, this town, by the way, is gorgeous. I love how it looks. It's so nice. Now that we're in the safety of civilization, we heal up our Pokemon and stock up on healing equipment and Pokeballs. We skipped over a few dusty biomes intentionally so we could get more prepared to capture Pokemon in them. Oh, hey, Nick, check out my new Pokemon, dude. 
is Charmander. <laughs> Level 42 Volibee. There's so many threats <laughs> everywhere, dude. Like, unexpected threats. That's gonna be more difficult than the actual gym leader. Charmander's evolving. Man, into Brakeson. Yeah. <laughs> wow, isn't that just fantastic? That's so rare, man. Everyone's like, are they doing a randomizer Nuzlocke? <laughs> I like that idea. Oh, I forgot how scary Gravelers are, dude. It's not that they're that scary, but they have often sturdy, right? And if they combo sturdy with an explosion to take down my bloopers, I will cry and I will have to stop filming for the day. I will need some time to rest. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't let ploopers get taken down. It's the same thing with me. I really don't want ploopers get taken down. Why is that rich guy chasing me? Right? Father sent me out in the wild to become a seasoned trainer. I've lost all my battles so far, but I'm still richer than you. He doesn't even have a Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to do, Jordan. Father, I want a Ponyta. Ah! What's up? Graveler, you self-destruct and it had one HP when it did it, okay? And Randy's at 18 HP when Randy was oh. full HP. It's it's exactly what I just talked about, dude. I know, I'm okay. Randy's okay, but that was not okay. Okay, what level is this camera? Because I'd love to take it down, but if it's level 30, it's level 40. <gasps> it's Zigzagoon. That makes me so happy. Cool, got myself a Zigzagoon, man, and now I'm pretty much free to wander the entire area and train wherever. I just taught my Hippopotas Sandstorm. Its ability is Sandstorm, so now I can go double Sandstorm. You don't deserve to beat this Nuzlocke, but Jordan, <laughs> guess what? Petunia is evolving! Oh, it's so cute. Look at his eyes, it's so shiny. Oh, Yay. dude, it's adorable. Yay, I, I can ride on it. <laughs> <laughs> I vow to win the series with Tinkle Trunks. Wait! Whoa, 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 Jordan? Whoa. Legendaries, by the way, you can catch those. I wouldn't recommend getting into a battle with it, but you're allowed to catch it. It's dead ahead of me. That's hilarious. It's right next to me, Nick. Hey, these Keldeo. It's only level 40, right? It's level 50. We both decide not to get into a battle with Keldeo because it would probably kill our entire teams. Doesn't sound like the play. No, it doesn't. Hey, Grandpappy's evolving, dude. Oh, wow. You got a masquerade now. Can you believe I remembered the Pokemon? I'm actually really impressed. Do you remember who Lentil is? Come on, that's an easy one. Yeah, C dot. I, I I don't have a C dot. Ultra space just opened up. There's zero shot I Absolutely ever go there. Absolutely not. No way. <laughs> There's no way we're no going to way. ultra space in this Nuzlocke. Never. Especially because it would kick us back out at like spawn or something. Yeah, exactly. We'd be far away and we wouldn't accomplish anything there. Jordan, I'm going to battle the underlings and see how I fare. And then I'll decide whether or not I want to go against the actual gym leader. Nick effectively navigates the gym, taking down several iconic grass Pokemon in the process before reaching the gym leader. Hey, I finally have Gust on Chug Jug, dude. And Pell Dance did a lot of damage actually, but I'm going to use Incinerate once more. <gasps> 9 HP! It's a charm, Jordan, but I'm 9 HP. There's no way I'm risking- Wait. Hey, Jordan, I have an idea. What's your idea? I'm going to use a Moo Moo Milk. <laughs> I'm full HP again! Oh, it got a critical hit with Magical Leaf. Which, by the way, as predicted as I thought it was, it's not super effective. It's not not effective, though, either. And Incinerate did one shot it. I've got myself the Forest Badge. Okay, I'm gonna take a look how that looks in the green badge case, and boom, bada, bing, bop, let's go! Next up, I clean sweep Bardinia's team with my Fletchender. Now it's time to seek out Fantina, who is the third gym leader of the region. I'm cool to keep trading a little bit. You gonna take down that camera? It's level 47. <laughs> I know. We pick up a few more items and take advantage of the desert superb training before heading out. Let's see, it's northeast, but more north than it is east. Okay, so way up there. <laughs> oh, I'm in a battle with the Jover as I landed. <laughs> <laughs> you threw yourself into a little cave, Jordan. <laughs> Oh, and also I can see the gym from here. It is Fantina. I did not realize these places were so close. I genuinely didn't. Oh, Jordan, the first Pokemon I saw was a Sizzlepeed, level 25, Nick, Nick, but then there's Nick. also a shiny Sizzlepeed, level nine. What? Yo! I'm catching both of these. Well, I, I caught the shiny one, Jordan, which is level nine. Also, Nuzzle is so nice. I can paralyze everything and catch it now. Petunia is so good, dude. Jordan, I don't know why I'm going for this. I'm going to go for the non-shiny one, Dazzler, okay? I kind of like right, it, because it it's got the sizzle, Dazzler. got the double Z. And then for uh, Sizzlepeed, that's shiny, Bedazzler. <laughs> Bedazzler. <laughs> what a way to find a shiny, Jordan. Right? What was that? 
Oh, so many ethers, so many revives. I'm rich. Nick stocks up on more loot using his spoils from the town. Then we get to training. My hippo will likely be my carry to defeat Fantina's spooky ghost types, but Nick still needs to figure out his perfect strategy to defeat her. My petunia at level 34 learns crunch. I might go for that. Dude, Karko's evolving. I mean, excuse me, Graveler is evolving after all that time in the other gym. I'm going to have Colossal. Sup, buddy? While Nick was planning strats, I was exploring the Mesa Hills. I found a Duskull up there, which was exciting to see because it builds the character of the gym. Maybe this hill was where Fantina caught her Pokemon? It's a fun detail, regardless. Do I get rid of Bubble Beam? Dude, that's a wild Colossal. Grudge match? I'm not going to grudge match it. I'm going to one-shot brine it with Randy. Wait, that didn't take it down? I like that we're just letting the dust Skull roam because we don't want to take it down because it's so cool. Our training is super effective here. Not only are we one-shotting beefy Pokemon for heavy experience, we're even getting battle items here. I got a quick claw from a drill bird or something, and Nick gets a King Rock from this Rhyhorn. Uh, you want to battle the naturally spawning Charizard flying to challenge us? What? Uh, maybe, actually. It's actually flying right at us, dude. Look at it. Whoa! It's a family, dude! There's three of them! What? Oh, what is that? It's four, a pack of Charizards. There's four of them. I've never seen this ever before in my life. This is awesome. Is this a bug? Oh, that's beautiful though, isn't that it? That was so cool, man. Brian. Air Slash did a lot of HP. I'm actually not okay with this. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Run, Please let me. Dude, I couldn't escape. I couldn't escape. You Slash. If it was a no, crit, I was no. done. I'm a Colossal. Okay, it does like no damage to me. Okay, dude, my stomach dropped there. Ancient power did the trick. On the morning of day 14, Randy evolves into Empoleon. Nick still wants to get the move crunch before attempting to defeat Fantina, though. I can take down Laron, right? Dude, I've been able to take down Laron since the first town, dog. Day That's one. Just that's not true. We start with level fives and we were exactly. scared. If we were scared of Pachirisus. We were scared of Pinkos. I just got Psy Shock on Tinkle Trunks, by the way, which is great. I'm confident that those words will never be uttered again in the history of humanity. All right, I'm climbing to the top of this place. Do I have enough blocks? Wait, you're gonna battle? Yeah. My impatience may be my downfall, but I'm taking on Fantina. At least I was gonna fight her before Nick gave me some critical information. Whether or not it should know, Miss Magius knows Magical Leaf. Wait, does it actually? I, I should have told you this earlier, but I don't think you, I don't, yeah, I see you going back down. I don't think you battle yet, man. <laughs> no, no I don't, I'm using a I ground, don't think you no. battle yet. <laughs> I'm using a ground type dude where I don't deal that. I, I won't one shot it, but it'll be close. But if it knows magical leap, it can one or two shot me. Yeah, and then that puts you in a really bad spot. How in the world am I going to evolve Tinkle Trunks? Carefully. No, but like actually. Am I wrong? Crafting a training machine isn't that difficult. So we'll plan to work on that at a later time if necessary. I'm gonna put that on Petunia for now because I'm gonna be using Crunch a bunch. Crunch a bunch! I'm gonna be using Crunch a bunch. Ah, uh, that should be a move. Crunch a bunch. It hits, you know, two to five times. Now the bloopers evolved into Empoleon and Nick's Petunia learned Crunch, it's finally time to face the gym. Okay, so far, so far so good, Jordan. I'm making it all around in this horrible, horrible gym. The invisible walls make this gym a nightmare to navigate. Oh, I made up the staircase. Are you kidding me? After all this way I've come, this is just a dead end. Fortunately, this is Minecraft, so we have other options to reach Fantina. Okay, I'm up here. Crunch on Petunia the Bolt Hunt enables Nick to sweep the entire team. Not very difficult for me, Jordan, and I got myself the Relic Badge. Oh, dude, I'm scared for you. Hippie's already a little low. That's already a little low. Yeah, that's pretty low. Oh, Hippie grew to level 30 though, dude. Okay, I'm, hopefully I just knock out a one Jordan's line at nine HP. I'm gonna have to switch him out. I'm gonna have to switch him out. So now I'll return with Fire Spin, which should take it down, and then I have one, this is super dicey. Then I have one more, okay, Haunter's out. I could use Psy Beam to maybe one. Your special attack was decreased. You don't wanna stay out there too long. All right, let me, oh, hey, you know what, Haunter? I'm just gonna send out my Empoleon. I don't, it has no chance of killing me, I don't think. Yeah, no, that, you're solid, dude, you're good, you're good. It you use Curse too, yeah. wow. Well, you should right. be able to brine it down. Yeah. You got a crit. Wait, where'd my, oh, it ended. Dude, my, my Empoleon disappeared, so I had to wait for oh, a second. Oh, you thought you I'm lost. Sorry. I was so frightened. We escaped the forsaken invisible walls of Fantina's gym, rinse and repeat our usual item preparation, and move out towards the next gym challenge. Along the way, we're ready to find new biomes that potential new teammates call home. But first, we find the wrong gym? Yeah, this is, turn. this is the fifth gym. We can fight the gyms out of order, but it's risky considering the higher level Pokemon. So we move on after a quick Pokeheal in town. Oh, also this is about to be a new biome, isn't it? Forest. Hey. Ooh. Stunky for me. Nuzzle might take this thing down. No, it won't. Dude, Nuzzle's such a good move to catch Pokemon because it always paralyzes. Jordan, I've named Stunky 
Man tiger. Is it a guy? Uh, yes. We continue into the forest hills, and both of us fail our captures of Raticate and Lettyba respectively. Dude, is that eggs cute stuck to the tree? Oh, Tiger Hills, new Pokemon. Well, <laughs> it's eggs cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jordan, I have caught myself an eggs cute, and you know, I already have a name for it. Breakfast. Jordan, I found a Machoke. Wait, what was that over there? What could I have seen, but I didn't see? Oh, it was a Whismer. Okay, I'll take the Machoke. Dude, this thing's level 39. That's kind of terrifying. Jordan, I'm going to try to run because I could get taken down. I escaped. I don't get another chance to catch it is what we've, I think, determined as well. Hey, Torkoal. Is this Extreme Hills? I get Torkoal, dude. That makes me happy. I'm going to catch a Mogus. Oh wait, it's only a fungus, but it's level 38. That's not too bad. Amogus. Cherry Blossom Grove, Jordan. Yeah, I'm looking straight down. Oh, well, Deerling chose me. I'd rather use the Execute. So uh, not that I have anything against Deerling and Saucebuck, but I am going to take it down. Oh, a Bound Sweet. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh dude, Plains, I'm in Plains. This is the first time we've been in Plains. Plains have some rad Pokemon. They also have some really basic Pokemon too. Well, it's Electric. Electric is great. Unfortunately, Nick already has has an electric dog. I took it down. I found a secret grotto and I got a choice scarf. Yo, hey. actually. Oh. We're used to getting trash loot from stuff like this, but a choice scarf is fantastic. Equipping into your Pokemon limits that Pokemon to using only one move, but it boosts the Pokemon's speed significantly too. Shortly after finding the scarf, Nick meets me at the next town. Here we must defeat Maylene and her brigade of fighting Pokemon with our signature Lucario leading the pack. Do we want to risk it for a bit of a biscuit? I'm just going. Level 62. Wait a minute, the trainers weren't replaced. Wait, wait, what is this? That's a bug. Right at the floor, right, right there, right where you're walking. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah, no, that's not cool. You don't actually ever have to be near her unless you fall. Ooh, Phalanx, very cool. Sick Pokemon alert. Yo, that's sick. Like an Ampharos. Hey man, well dude, I'll let you kick it first, dog, because I'm pretty confident that you can certainly beat her. What's the first Pokemon? Metatite. Lentil's my weakest, oddly enough, even though it was the first Pokemon I caught. I think it just takes a long time to actually level up, but obviously is a very strong Pokemon. And Dazzling Gleam, you've been taking down Machoke. I am going to switch out for fear of being one shot. I think Chug Jug should do just fine here. Quiver Dance, dude. Cheer him on, Grandpappy, your bug brethren. Oh, Psybeam only did half its HP. Or Sphere did, I think it did seven damage to me. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. You put me in a cobweb and I've got my fourth badge, dude. You're using pack. Oh, okay, you need to switch out. Jordan, this is a problem. You do realize you are steel, right? Yeah, I'm aware. I think Hippie might be dead. This is what I have oh, to no, switch out no, to. Oh, no, 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 not Hippie. No, no, okay. Oh, I can't. Oh, what do I do? I don't know why you'd switch out to Hippie. Should I send out my Fletchender? Yes, you should send out your Fletchender. But now you've got a Sandstorm, which will also hurt your Fletchender. Oh, this is a problem. Boom, baby. All right, no, I'm win winnable. Winnable, winnable, winnable. Use Stand Acrobats winnable. again. Your Sandstorm was so stupid, man. Your Sandstorm was stupid. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you you played this like right, as bad as possible? Please, please, please. Like, right. no. Was... Why do you do it like that, man? You made that too close. <laughs> it shouldn't have been that close, man. All of my Pokemon almost died. Every single one of them. Oh gracious! Ah, I'm alive. <sighs> Jordan, you're just really living life on the edge, aren't you? I fell through the monkey bars, dude. You're the monkey, Jordan. All right, well, where to next, Nick? It would be to go to Crasher Wake's place, which we passed. Oh, Lentil's evolving. That's good. We returned to Crasher Wake's gym, the one that we passed to get to Maylene. I bench Grandpappy the Masquerade and add my Bounce Sweet to the team, since I want a grass Pokemon to defeat Crasher Wake's water beasts. Hello, friend! Ma ah ah Oh yeah, two of us can do that. Don't jump down there and kill your Empoleon. <laughs> that would be the worst way for it to go. Nick returns to the starting town to look for solid TMs. With the right moves, taking down Crash Awake will be a breeze. Any good electric moves? Gary impulses. Okay, yeah, no journey. Really a little bit of a waste of time, unfortunately. Well, let's check back later to see if the shopkeepers stock better TMs as the days progress. In the meantime, I found a wasteland biome near Crasher Wake's town. I end up catching an Arbok level 40, and more importantly, Bounce Sweet's evolving. Oh wait, this eventually evolves into uh, the Kicking Queen thing? Yeah, that's what it did. What? You didn't know it eventually turned into that? I thought it evolved into Cherubi. No, it evolved. <laughs> no, you didn't. I named it Football Soccer. Football Soccer. <laughs> football Soccer. <laughs> How do you spell football? Like that? <laughs> so controversial, yet so brave. Ah, I was identified using its foresight. Careful, 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 Nick. So, Jordan, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look down. Direct me towards the coolest Pokemon. You ah, I'm in the poison. 
<laughs> I jumped in the poison. Hey, Jordan, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my eyes and spin 10 times. Okay. No, three times. And then whatever I get, I get. Okay. Two. I, this is more than three, but, uh, oh, I was looking down. <laughs> to, oh, it's a mighty Anna. Hey, Nicholas, I can fly. I'm not jealous. You're jealous. There's totally a ladder. You, you didn't put a ladder on this one. I know whether or not I put a ladder. <laughs> I put a ladder. You, you didn't put a ladder on this I one. I put a dude. ladder. You did not. There's a ladder. What's your problem? You didn't put a ladder on You're this one. You're just scared. Nick, there's no scared. ladder on this one. Good luck scared. getting up without your flying Pokemon that you don't scared. have. Scared. Scared to climb up invisible ladders. <laughs> You just don't understand art like I do. I'm gonna train Amogus for this fight. So I'm gonna fight this man but it's level 55. You're not pranking me, right? You're not trying to get Randy I'm not to pranking die. you. What, what level it is your It used poopers? Bone Rush, Jordan, and I'm 41 HP. I haven't had one do that yet. Jordan, do you understand how bad that is? That hasn't happened yet to me. If I don't run right now, Randy faints. I have literally, they have gotten me down to like nothing at any point. You know, you know what I'm gonna do, Jordan? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use Max Potion. Hope it doesn't use Bone Rush. So that I can run. Use Leer. So that Bone Rush will one shot me next time. I escaped. Jordan! I, I haven't had any trouble, dude! I mean, well, stop battling them then, because you might. I just beat the, I beat the level 63, dude. I'm listening to my own instincts, not yours. My hippie evolved into a hippie Powdon. Ow. Ow. Stop. Oh, I must have been a Mandibuzz. Too strong for you, eh? Ground moves are super effective against me, but I'll take a risk. I can't be outdone by you, Jordan. Brian one-shot it. Let's go. I don't feel like I'm taking that big a risk right now. All it takes is one battle and your entire team is gone. <laughs> Join, 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 Yo, join. What? Amogus is becoming sus. What is going on? It's so sus with Amogus. What? Why is he being so sus? <laughs> Amogus. Amogus. My power level is over 10. Delphox is evolving into Charmeleon. Wait, no. I mean, no, no. Wait, my Arabok? I'm going to name Arnold. <laughs> Your names are awful. I guess I started it. I have a Goldeen named Pixelmon. <laughs> oh, wait. Shiny Trap Inch. Shiny Trap what? Inch. What? 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 Level Where? 35. What? Yo, I might actually Dude. train this. Roll right next to me. Dude, I am the shiny Whoa. magnet. What are the chance of this? I caught it, dude. Nice, dude. Dude. The truth is that shinies in Pixelmon are easier to find because you can see rapidly so many more Pokemon. So it's still pretty darn fun, but that's gotta be why there's such an influx of shinies when we're playing this game, you know, man? For every one encounter you get in a normal game, you get like 30 in this one. <laughs> I like its name. It might be stupid. I named it Lobster. Yeah, like Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is There can be blue lobsters and they look really cool. Cool, and that's yeah. that's what this is. It's a shiny little lobster. It's gonna be rock on, buddy. Uh, uh, what? Uh, what? What is the uh? uh Why are you? What? I'm getting a test arena, by the way. What are you uh? <laughs> Wait, did you find another one? What's happening? I found another shiny. <laughs> did you actually? Wait, is it that battle toy? It's that battle toy. What? What? It's a shiny. What? Oh, it's a great looking shiny too. I've never seen that shiny. What? Oh, what, dude? What? Did you already catch it? Yeah, what? 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 I named it Herman. Dude, I just happened to look up, like, and it was just, it was just right there. Are there more? <laughs> yeah, let's look around, dude. What? Oh, oh, wait, no, is that a boss? It's a boss. It's a boss. I thought I found okay. another one, dude. I, dude, tell the sparkles. I, yeah, that's a boss <laughs> yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, Don't yeah. get too close. It'll destroy you. What, dude? Yeah, I think I found... Not a shiny Jordan, so I need you to calm down. But a, a super hidden poke loot. And it was leftovers! Yo! Normally, I'm gonna be real with you, the items that we have gotten, and Nick and I have played more Pixelmon than probably anyone on the planet, give or take. I guarantee I have. We've been playing it for genuinely nearly 10 years. Nearly 10 years, yeah. Oh my. It's going to be 10 years. In a year from now, it's 10 years. Oh, you're right. Wow. In our vast experience playing Pixelmon, we often get terrible item drops from the hidden poke loots. But during this 100 days, we've gotten some of the best items in Pokemon on, or at the very least, our favorites. Yeah, you could tell I got a little hyped about it for the reason being that I expect nothing. I specifically expect it to be bad. I expect less than nothing. I expect to get genuinely angry from what I find. Quick Claw, Leftovers, Choice Scarf, etc. Items like this feel even better to use since it's a Nuzlocke and the stakes are higher than ever. Another Keldeo spawns. But I don't think we want to get in a battle with it. If we had quick balls, then maybe, but like it can still one shot your Pokemon, Jordan. It's fighting. Yeah, you're right. We're stronger than last time, but we still pass on the opportunity to capture Keldeo. It still poses too much of a threat. Hey, I finally have a bug move, Jordan, on Yo. Chug Chug. What move you get? Bug slap? Bug, bug slap. This guy over here says bug slap. <laughs> That's an awesome move, and you know that they should add it. Oh, God. 
Why, why are you a bird? I was fighting the Talon Flame and I was just trying to hype him up. Mm, that was not a very hype bird then. Well, I mean, I'm learning. I don't speak bird. Kaka! You just insulted him and his entire family. <laughs> yeah, but it was hype. You ran into quicksand immediately. Nice. I think I can take down a guy who just runs into a quicksand immediately. I didn't listen to a single word you just said. Story of my life by One Direction. You know they wrote me a song once? One Direction? It? Yeah. Which one of the directions? Well, it was all of them. They came together to make a compass and they wrote me a song. A compass. <laughs> Wait, Jordan, when you go to sleep for the night, it heals you. What? Was that what happened before? That's what it do. Haha, <laughs> I'm battling Sandaconda. That Sandaconda spun me right round, right round like a fiddle. Yeah, that's the song. Spin me round, 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 baby, right round like a fiddle, baby. Spin like a fiddle, like a, right like a wheel, like a disco ball? Do you actually not know it? I do know it, but I can't think of it. <laughs> uh, like a, um, you spin me around like a merry-go-round? No. Like a, no. like a merry-go-round. I know like it, but... A, I just like uh, you trying to figure it out. <laughs> no, I do. I've heard it before, but I can't think of it right now. Like a uh, turnpike. Um, no, uh, like You're a car. Like a um, no, <laughs> like a car. turn turnstile. You spin me around. You spin me around like a car. <laughs> Jordan. Yeah. What is this? I'm gonna count this as a shiny. Whoa. What is that? Whoa. It's creepy. What is it? Wait. No. Really. What is it? What level is it? <gasps> it lights up. It lights up. Dude, you have to catch that. I just Wait, spat all but over my Is it a boss screen. or is it, is it a boss though? Wait, if it's a boss, oh, you're doing- Oh, it's level 50! Ah! <laughs> it's just level 50! Dude. I, I only have one Pokeball. Dude, take some Pokeballs then. I'll, I'll go for it. Don't die, dude, but that's so cool. It's in a so battle cool. with me already. Okay, well, well, the um, Pokeballs are behind you. You, you got I'm some- I'm burnt. That's so cool looking, dude! Dude, I'm gonna have a Pokemon die here or something. No, don't. All right, let me try to catch it. It's it's not perfect. I'm gonna want to stun it, I think. I, I didn't one have Masquerade room. in my team. Two, two. Room. Three, three. come on. Four rolls! Four rolls! Four rolls! Four rolls! Four rolls! Yeah, you did it, dude! You whoa, did it! Whoa, what is dude, this? A Pokemon, this a non-standard form. Ca capture an alter form Pokemon. There! And you can just put that right in your team. You can put that right in your team. I will, dude. Yo, hey, I can use that. Wait, no, I can't use that. Give it a Let name, Jordan, and it better be a uh, cool name, okay? You know what I would name it? Huh. Tartarus. Okay. I think that's a good name. That is a good name, dude. Isn't that the deepest pit of like uh of uh of the underworld in like Greek mythology or whatever? Or wait, what did you say? Tartarus. Tartar sauce? Don't you Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that's, that's tartar sauce. Tartar Tartar sauce has never looked so cool. I'm going tartar to sleep sauce. man. That's the funniest thing I've ever done. Can I ride it? Get back here, dude! Wait, can it fly? It can fly, Nicholas! What? I'll be able to Whoa! fly on Herman! Dude, that oh. looks so cool. You don't understand how cool that looks, whoa. especially if it was nighttime. Its whoa, eyes whoa, whoa. actually glow. That's so cool. Also, this is a blue boss Nummel, but for a second there, I'm like, wow, this altar form Nummel is kind of doo doo. <laughs> I probably could take it down, but I'm not going to. It glowed, by the way. It genuinely glowed. It glue? It glowed? Is glue? Is the word glowed or glue? What is the past tense of glow? Hey, Jordan. Finally, once you're level 52, you'll have the same thing, but you'll get rid of Peck, Jordan and put in drill pack. Wait, sneaked is the past tense when the verb is treated like a regular verb, snuck is past tense when it's treated like an irregular. As an English speaker, that means very little to me and I will continue to use it how I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Dude, do, do you ever have bad social skills and accidentally lie, like totally not on purpose? Often. Dude, I was, I was getting a haircut yesterday. As you do. And they're like, oh, you blow dry your hair? And I'm like, no. I did. I did that morning. <laughs> I, do, I don't understand why I said no. And then it's like, I can't be like, well, actually, no, I did. Because like, that's that's weird. So then I, I made it worse by like, well, I normally do, but I didn't today. But I did, I did, I did. That's the funniest thing ever. You're like, they must not And then know. I felt really, I felt like a bad person afterwards, even though it wasn't intentional, but it'd be no, so weird yeah. if I like walked it back the entire way. I love the duality that is represented in what we do. We speak for a living. We've been doing YouTube for almost 10 years. But boy, I'm bad years, at it But we something. are horrific at daily situations. It's small talk. It's small talk that I can't do. And it's also like, you don't really do small talk with your brother. That's the thing. You're my brother. No. It's not really That's small true. talk. That's true. Yeah, yeah. We, we know so much about each other that we can just move into whatever is interesting. Yeah, like I know your name's Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, like, what? What was the answer? Spin me right round, right round, like a <laughs> like a tractor. <laughs> no, like a, a tractor. dude, it's on the tip of my tongue. I swear, don't do it. Don't, don't, don't tell me. Actually, I'm not gonna tell you. How do you know? Like know? a trailer, like a 
Like, like a, a trailer. Spin me right around. Like, like a like a ha ha baby baby right. Like right. a t- 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 like a sawmill. Like a uh, water wheel. Like a. I mean, they all spin, dude. I mean, I can give you one very minor hint if you want it. Minor. Make sure it's minor. Like a music. record, record, record. record. Yeah, I said yeah. it before. I said you it did, before. You, you said music you even like a record. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Spin that me does make sense like actually. Yeah, it's not that. Yeah, it makes more sense than spin me around like a tractor, baby. <laughs> Dude, it depends. What if, what if it was a country song? <laughs> You're right. The country version would work. Stop running by me. I, I call this Lunar Tone. No, I wanted the Lunar Tone. Why'd you fall in that pit? Is that where Lunar Tone is? Lunar Tone's down here. There it is. I found it. It's in the pit. It's in a pit within the pit, Jordan. Oh, Herman is evolving, dude. Herman. Herman. <laughs> I can finally fly. Hey, wait, Herman hadn't met tartar sauce, did he? No, they haven't. Look at them. Yo! All right, where to, buddy? I'll follow you. <laughs> we float up into the gym and battle the water specialist before reaching Crasher Wake himself. I shall defeat your Wimpod with Tropical Kick. Ka-chow! What is going on? How did I get up here? I got myself into this. I can get myself out of this. Wait, is Crasher Wake the chicken? He's not the chicken, is he? He's the chicken. <laughs> Nichols, I solved the maze. I'm here to fight chicken legs. Oh, he sent out the float so early. Nick? Yes? I lost football soccer. No! Float soul. Oh, that's your- It wasn't a chess arena yet, was it? Yeah, it was. No! Oh, that feels so bad. Football soccer was a casualty of Floatzel's ice fang attack. Oh, oh yeah, that's bad. I oh yeah, I should have told you about that. I just figured I, I would one shot it, dude. But I forgot that Floatzel's known for its speed, dude. So all it had to do was just go first and that move was just effective enough. Yeah, I kind of forgot to tell you about that, didn't I? I mean, you know, I, I could have looked at his move list. I have the list. Well, I don't know if it's in the move list. Well, I, oh, 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 oh dear. <laughs> Well, I'll, 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 end up, I'll end up winning. It's unfortunate. I'll swap that out. That stinks. Well, that's your first Pokemon you've lost, dude. It's my first Pokemon I lost, dude. And I trained it up from a little bounce suite. Yeah, specifically for that fight. And Jordan, did it let you down? No. I misplayed, and that's really the problem. Wait, water observed negated the attack. How do I kill Quagsire? With your grass Pokemon. Oh, wait. You're the worst human being. All right, I got him. Here, I'll, I'll send it out just as a final send off. It's uh, it's it's level 36. It's my, it's football soccer. Goodbye. Fo well, don't die more football soccer. It's already dead. Jordan, get rid of it. Get rid of it right now. Release it on camera. All right. Goodbye, football soccer. Oh, that's actually kind of sad. Oh, it started with the Gyarados. That's actually not what I wanted. Oh, it feels so bad, dude. I'm going to be real. It does. Also, I'm one level off oh. of learning an actual a, a wild charge. So I don't I don't know why I didn't go for one more level. Actually, hey, there it is. I leveled it. up right there. I've got wild charge. Hey, good work, man. Let's take turns saying our favorite things about football soccer. I'll go first. It's name. Mine was that it was a grass Pokemon. <laughs> that it? That's really it? No, now it's your turn. Well, I, oh man, I was I wasn't expecting to have more than one turn, I'll be completely honest. Um <laughs> I liked that it was only grass type, not anything else. Was it? I liked that it was fighting type too, I think. I can't remember if it is. We're in Minecraft. We actually can build graves. We'll do that later, Jordan. We'll do that back home later on. We'll build a grave for every Pokemon that died. It's a somber success after defeating the gym. Now we move on out towards our next challenge. Jordan, don't go near that gym. Those are equals trainers. Whoa, careful, dude. That's dangerous. We escape beyond that naturally spawning town into a woodland where we have a new opportunity to catch another Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, I found a Stufel. Oh, that's cool. It's level 26. Stufel. I found another Rattata. A Stufel. You're really going to keep saying Stufel when it's like a stuffed animal? It's not, you're not going to say Stufel? Hey, I found a Taylo. I was going to catch a Taylo. Oh, no, I got a crit. What? No. <laughs> no. These Pokemon are so weak. It's like impossible to catch them, dude. Oh, I caught Taylo, Jordan. Hey, good work, dude. I named it Protein Powder. The town's right here. It's got two Pokemon Center. And guess what? There's a ladder here. You're gonna cry? There's two ladders. I made up for last time. How about that? Oh, good. Well, you just moved the one ladder over there. So that's fine. What is that? Oh, <gasps> it's Chikorita! I, Nicholas, I get a Chikorita! And I just lost my grass Pokemon! Oh, that's very pleasant. Oh, I'm gonna send out my grandpappy to try to catch this. I can't paralyze it, unfortunately. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, uh... <laughs> A Mareep what? got into a battle with me, dude, so I got to <laughs> Mareep. Woo! 
My grandpappy, which is my masquerade, is level 32. I don't think I can use a quick attack or anything, do you? Oh, you can use a quick attack. I caught it. First Ultra Ball. I didn't have to do anything. It's probably Yay. a better move. I wasn't sure. <laughs> All right, grandpappy. I'm going to replace you for now with Chico Rita. A Redwood Forest. Yeah, we can catch another Pokemon. Let me name my Marie first, though. I named it Sicko. And I named mine Rooster. Check it out. You, you, you named your Chikorita Rooster? I kind of dig yeah. that, actually. Rooster, Chikorita, and it is a dude. Okay, we're in the Redwood Forest Edge. The Edge, oh. Jordan. I saw a hop -hip. Now I'm in the Redwood Forest, and I saw a seed on level nine, man. <laughs> you That's know what? Point. I'm not catching this. I'm using Hyper Beam right now. Dude, I could have got Ferrothor in level 53, but I got a hop -hip and then I saw a seed on. It's right on the edge. That's actually so depressing, man. After our catching spree yesterday, we decided to challenge the Steel-type gym today. We might be rushing into this battle, but I mean, clearly I won't learn anything about patience over these 100 days. I'm a warrior. I like how it's two Mega Mans and then a better Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna battle this guy, Jordan. I'm gonna use Incinerate. It does have Sturdy, Jordan. That means I'm gonna send out my Tartar Sauce first, dude. Because Earth Power can one-shot it then. Wait, what's evolving? Oh, it's Lentil. Wait, into Hatserine? It's got Sturdy too. Wow. It's also got Thunder Fang, but it did 30 damage. Does Bastion not have Sturdy? I don't know, because I didn't do enough damage. Metal! <laughs> Get him out of there if you need to. Get him out of there if you need to. Seven Careful. HP? Okay. Metal burst hurt. Just in case, I'm gonna send out a Mogus. Jordan, I don't know if you want to fight this because my Pokemon's level 55. Yeah, but I have Tartar Sauce and you don't. Yes, but Metal Burst is super effective against Tartar Sauce. Hmm, I'm a little scared. You better not lose Tartar Sauce, man. You better not. Also, look at Lentil. Jordan, you better not let tartar sauce faint okay no no i'll be fine i can just blast it with an earth power again right what do you think uh i'll blast it with earth power dude i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't, it, no, I wouldn't. No, no. Oh! yeah dude what did i tell you no! i'm so sorry i told you it couldn't have been more obvious i'm so sorry we didn't know it had sturdy but still man oh man i told you what well, that badge was worth too much man all right Take care, tartar sauce. Dude, that hurt me. I felt like an uncle to him or something. Oh. And I told you not to do that. Listen to your elders. I'm, I'm your elder. <laughs> That's true. Do you even know what Metal Burst does? No. Look it up. Does 1.5 times the damage dealt by the foe's last attack. Exactly. What, dude? It's broken. With sturdy, it is, Jordan. Snowpoint Gym, dude. It's battling Candice. Oh, yeah. We didn't battle her yet. I know it's Candice, by the way, but I pronounce it Candice because she's an ice trainer. That's hilarious to me. Let's go fly together. I still have my other flying Pokemon, but I'll... Yeah, I'll... <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry. That was really rude, though. That was really... That was really mean. Dude, and I... I, I mean, I, I straight up warned you, man. I know, but you know I don't listen to you. And I'll rub it in. I have no problem rubbing I that in right know. now. Because that was such a cool Pokemon that is gone now. So we got Hoppip, known as Funky. <laughs> Kong, and we got oh, Padov, nice. known as Moo. Oh wait, for for Volkner, Jordan, I should be training up my lobster. Together we can rule this city, Spider-Man. Look at look at that, it's perfect. Amogus, Amogus. The first Pokemon I noticeably saw, I think I could have seen a Wishiwashi, but I saw Magikarp. Thirty nine. Yo! Dude, so you're one level from evolving it into a Wailord. Yeah, man. Sweet, dude. Oh, Jordan, I think this is a gravel beach. No, wait. We haven't caught anything on a beach, have we? No. Yo, okay. The first thing I saw was a slowpoke, even though the dwebble is right next to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is it? It's a pasture. It is a pasture. And I see a Tauros because it stands above everything else. Level 41, not too shabby. Don't you dare use rest. No! No! Way, dude! Taurus used takedown, which took itself down, and but it crit and it took down Petunia. Wait, what? No! My level 49 good doggo! No, Nick, Nick, no! That Taurus was not even remotely worth it, dude. I wasn't I, I was legitimately taking it down. But it used takedown and got a crit. Nicholas, you losing Petunia can almost make you understand how I feel when I took down Snubble. No! <laughs> How dare you? You know what I find really surprising, by the way? Surprise parties. How long it- oh, no. <laughs> no, those are not surprising. <laughs> How long does it take for Empoleon to learn an ice move as a penguin? It doesn't. Why? <laughs> Wait, Nick. Nick, what do I do? I saw Meryl first, but a Zigzagoon just killed the Meryl. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> I think, honestly, it's too bad, man. <laughs> so I don't get a beach party one? 
it's such a low odds chance of a thing. I think you gotta roll with that. I can fly on Vibrava. <laughs> I feel like I am lobster. That's the view I'm getting. This looks like a horror movie almost. After our many misfortunes, we decide to train until we're certain we can defeat the ice cold Candace. Die, Sentret. Don't know superpower, don't know superpower. Why is it just waiting? Oh, he's Ice Fang and it, even with the tail up, it did 13 HP. Yeah, you're good. But dude, that actually, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> it's not good for my heart, man. Dude, yeah, you can't do, I can do crud like that because I'm, you know, dumb and it's fun. Dude, every time somebody tells me to do something, I do the opposite. Yeah, well, it depends. It depends on if they're like super backseating you while you're doing something, they're like, oh, turn left. Yeah. You're like, well, guess what? We're not going to Disney World anymore. <laughs> Oh, dude, I found a lavender field. We haven't been to a lavender field yet. And I'm going to go ahead and name this diglet, and it's going to be known as Diggity Dog. We find some more unexpectedly useful loot, learn better moves, and even evolve some Pokemon while continuing to train. Did you know, Nick, that in Australia, Bruce Wayne goes by another name? What does he go by? Wombatman. Nick finds a boss trappage, but eloquently explains why he won't fight it. Why risk it when there's no biscuit? Why eat a biscuit if there's no risk, though? Think about it. Most of the time when I eat biscuits, there's not a problem. I No, I think there are reasons to eat a biscuit without risk. Like what? Actually, like what? I'd say if there is a risk, then probably don't eat the biscuit. What do you mean? The buttery flaky goodness you think is worth it without a risk? Yes. Ooh, I'm learning psychic, Jordan. Lentil actually has insane moves, okay? Jordan, do you not listen to the audio tape I sent you? The motivational speeches? No, I didn't. You will not be cringy. You will be pog. <laughs> you will not be cringy. You will be Hog champ. A fur at level 50, finally a worthy opponent. So Jordan, Herman just wanted to learn explosion, which I did not allow him to do. No. I'm not you teaching him though, explosion. Dude. No, no, you should teach him explosion, dude, and then that's how we beat Cynthia, no! dude. Last move. I I'm not sacrificing Herman. I'm not, I'm not a, Jordan, you just want me to not have a clay at all because you're jealous that I still have one and you don't. No, it would be so sick. I would have done it. I messed up, man. I won't debate that. Hey, you want a greppa berry? No. I already threw it out. I need to say no. What if I said yes? Would you have ever said yes to a greppa berry? Yes. Do you know what a greppa berry does? Do you know what a greppa berry does or did you not check before you threw it out? Answer the question. Do you want me to tell you, Jordan? Yeah. What does a greppa berry do? A greppa berry, Jordan, lowers special defense and increases happiness are you surprised that i know yeah do you have one no i know i don't i genuinely don't all dude lobsters evolving i'm about to have a shiny fly gone uh lobsters tiny what it's a pygmy he is precious oh my wow lobster i feel like the name still fits pretty pretty decently you ready to beat the gym yet do you think lobster is gonna help me beat that gym i mean he would try his best nick do you know what type he is ground and dragon and you know why that's bad why you're telling me that ice is quad effective against him. I might be saying that exact thing, yes. Dude, make a Garchomp scary. That would just, like, if that decided to bell us, it would actually end the Nuzlocke. Could you use something like Whirlwind to escape? I mean, you can try to run. Oh, can you? I don't know if you can run from boss battles, Nick. Mm, I'm not testing it now. But Jordan, for science. <laughs> hey, Jordan, I got my first level 70. Randy's Yo! level 70. He's the chosen one for a good reason. Why do flying moves work on ground Pokemon? That's garbage. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? You know the saying, it's as nice as lice. That's not the saying. Hey, Latias oh, oh. spawned in an ocean biome. I see it, dude. It's right up above us. Yo. But that's a level 70. Latios is too much of a risk for us to take, so we prepare to move on and keep training. You see, dude, if it was Keldeo, I could go for it now. Yeah, now we could go for Keldeo, but it's not <laughs> Keldeo. Come on, man. What's oh, with come that, on. man? I saw a Diglett and thought it was you. You understand. I do look like a hot dog. <laughs> Stop dropping stuff, blocks, just place them, okay? I think it's better and funnier to just place them. <laughs> Dude, this guy's got an Entei. What, what? This random trainer had an Entei and I just took it down. What? But excuse me? My camera up. My up camera up. My camera up. My camera no! up. No! I hope your Pokemon die. <laughs> Don't use explosion. <gasps> Weezing used self-destruct and it did like eight damage to me. <laughs> You know that song? Is that Linkin Park? Yeah. <laughs> Our Empoleons are currently the icy scourge of the desert. You know? Stop. Oh, you- Wasn't me. Hey, Bedazzler's level 50. That was my goal. Dude, you need to get over here. Just to see what happened in the gym. That's what Wait, you did with your blocks. And yeah, I see, I see it. It's Skywulu! You know what I think about Skywulu? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I love it. I love it. I love it. No! Ah! 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 
<laughs> it lived. It lived. You are the worst human being. And now it's rolling away no, no, into Pit Wulu. What is your problem? All right, you ready to fight this gym leader, dude? I hope so. Oh, yeah, I may have overtrained a little bit. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna get going with this. She should send out a Sneasel first, and she did. All right, let's get poppin', dude. Flame charge, baby. Hey, you burnt it. Also, it's dead. <laughs> That's another one shot. All right, what you gonna send out? Oh no, I accidentally used the wrong move. It doesn't matter. I'm the best. <laughs> I'm gonna start with Graveler here, and I'm going to use a Heat Crash. <laughs> Graveler. <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> yeah. It's still funny. Aqua Jet should be more than enough to just, yeah. Uh, Randy's level 75 now, by the way. Randy's kind of a beast. Ah, uh, uh, no, he just wait, 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 no! wait, wait, no, 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 no. What? Why? He used Destiny Pod? Die. Dude. I trained Bedazzler up all that time for it to use Destiny Bond on it. That's so not cool. That was one of the least cool things I've ever seen in my life. That's so not cool, man. Jordan, I've got Dazzler there sat in my PC box because, because Bedazzler. God. Dude. Oh, that's horrific. That's so not cool. Side note, Nick, I'm burying Candace. No one will ever get the seventh gym badge again. <laughs> uh, no, that's too nice. Wait, who's up there now? Electric of the sky! A tragic conclusion in Candace's cold coliseum, but we're down to one more gym leader before we can attempt the Elite Four challenge. We saw solemnly under the desert sun, seeking Volkner, the electric legend. All right, be wary of new biomes, dude. Let's see what this little part of the island is here. Oh yeah. We, oh, deep ocean, deep ocean new biome. First thing I saw was the Whalemer. Oh, it's a love disc. You get a love disc. I caught Whalemer, by the way. Way here be the gym, Jordan. The levels are 46 up to 50. Ooh. They are all base electric though. I think they're all just straight electric type. Do you want to see what I named my love disc? It's hearty. Like heart. <laughs> yeah, like heart. I'm in a good spot to just drop a bunch of earthquakes on these Pokemon, probably with no problems. Wait, why is this Pikachu level 68? I might still be able to take it out, but be super careful, dude. This first trainer that I'm fighting has a level 68 Pikachu. Yeah, that might be a bug. All right, I beat him, dude. That's his only Pokemon, but be weary. I think that's a bug, but yeah, I'm going to use Earthquake, dude. I use Iron yeah, Tail yeah. on 32 HP. That, that's not I one shot it, though. Yeah, yeah, me too. That ain't cool, dude. Oh, there's a boss. There's an equal level boss in here. Dude, dude. seriously? Hey, wait, Nicholas, the level 68, dude? It, it was an equal trainer that I ran into. That's the reason it's level oh, 68. That was the guy. That was the guy. Which also might not be. Ah, oh, you pushed me on the wrong one. <laughs> Wait, no, it's the right one. Never mind. Thank Yay. You. <laughs> okay, Volkner, which is who you are. I'm going to take you down. I love that earthquake just makes you hop a mile into the sky, dude. Okay, turn. I one shot all of them. Hopefully charm doesn't affect my one shot potential. <laughs> the sandstorm still took it out. That's funny. <laughs> Use Volt Switch. Okay, let's go. The only thing that could kill me is if Electrifier knew something like Superpower and could really one-shot me. Well, even Superpower, I don't think would. I don't think so either, but it has a chance of it at least. Cool, that was the easiest one yet. Rock and roll. Congratulations, Jerome. We've got our all eight Dude. gym badges, but we are not ready to battle the Elite Four. We're not even wow. close to ready. All right, it's Aaron, dude, with level 49 to 50, dude. And they're solid No, 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 types. no, Jerome. No, Post-National Dex versions. P -p -p post Oh, they're level 65 to 69! Ah! Yeah, and they go up quite a lot from there, too. The Elite Four dude did a really good job of still having, like, a main type, but also filling out their teams with multiple dual types. You know what I mean? Yeah. We have our work cut out for us. The Elite Four is no joke. Just like in the games, we'll be allowed to use items to heal, but we won't be allowed to use Poke Heal, or, of course, revive any Pokemon that faint. Plus, we have to take down all four of the Elite Trainers and the Champion in a row. No training or breaks in between. I'm bailing a Delphox level 50. Wow! I I got choice specs. That's huge. That's special attack, right? Oh, I found a prison bottle. That's cool. That could be big if we find a very special Pokemon. It's unlikely that Hoopa will spawn, but I'm pretty sure it does appear in the desert or maybe desert hills. And conveniently, that's where we're training. But we still don't get our hopes up for Hoopa. Instead, we actually plan to check out Ultra Space if we can find a portal. We think that maybe the biomes will have different names from their counterparts in this world, like Ultra Forest, Ultra Jungle, etc. We'll find out soon if that's the case. Hey, I found an Ultra Space portal actually, dude. Yeah, I see it on the map. Higher. Oh, there we go. There you go. I'm in ultra space! Out of point, dude! Can I sleep in ultra space or it will blow up? 
it blows up. Day 50, halfway, dude. It's funny, dude, this really is halfway, though, because, like, we're approaching the biggest struggle of the series. You know what I mean? I'm in the Forest Hills, Ooh. which is a biome we've been in. I thought they all had different names. Oh, does it not say, like, Ultra Hills and stuff here? It used to, or at least in the other Pixelmon mod, it does. It doesn't look like we'll be able to use Ultra Space to capture more Pokemon, at least not from this short exploration. We can still check out the Nether and End, as well as find other overworld biomes we haven't encountered yet, of course, if we want to fill out our teams before challenging the Elite Four. At the very least, Nick picks up some Elite from his ultra expedition. Jordan, I found an Arceus shrine? What? Yeah, and I've got plates. I'm going to put them in there because it'd be cool. We're not going to have enough, but it's very cool and it shows the different plates. I'm going to leave now. Home is where the house is. <laughs> How am I training faster than you? You're battling stronger Pokemon. I mean, you have the same opportunities. Yeah, but I'm battling the weaker ones. So you're putting in more effort for less. The American dream. Wait, dude, I'm flying. I'm flying forward during my battle. Look wait, at me go! Wait, what? Wait, what? I disappeared. I died. Uh, Nicholas, no! The Nuzlocke! I'm back! <laughs> I'm back! If you die in game, you die in Nuzlocke! If you die in Nuzlocke, you die in real life! Ah! Ah! Ooh, Pokaloo joined. I found a Pokaloo. I'm finding all these invisible ones. It was a Rindo Berry. Reduces the super effective grass move by 50%. Dude, the Rindo Berry tech though. Wow, man. For every 30 likes this video gets, I'll overreact to another Rindo Berry. <laughs> oh, I found a normal Poke Loot. Let's see what incredible loot I get here. It's a Starf Berry. Everybody knows what Starf Berries do. I know what a Starf Berry does. Yeah, me too. Berry. Sharply raises random stat in a pinch. Yeah. You can genuinely ask me what any berry does, and I can tell you. Pasho Berry. During Pasho, it reduces the effect of a super effective water move by 50%. And something about, can it like make a water jet? Wow, you're incredible, Nicholas. I I'm sorry that I doubted your skills and prowess. Hey, by the way, I accidentally just battled a boss still a cobra, and I ran, and you can run from bosses. Okay, well, that, that, there's the test. We know now. At least from common bosses. Are you amazed, though, that I actually know what the berries do? I'm amazed that you found a way to quickly look them up. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not opening up any internet, okay? Do you have a book? No, I don't have a book. That would be impressive in its own way. Yeah, why did you get rid of Drill Pack? I already have a bird Pokemon. But now you have three water moves on one Pokemon. Yeah, one goes fast, one kills if they're low, and one is super powerful. They all have their own use. <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> but it's not smart. Most people, I think, would agree with me on that one. That is where we are different, and that's why there are two people on this show. So that you can teach your Pokemon silly moves. Exactly. Ooh, a Raquinid. First time I've seen a Raquinid, too, Jordan. It's massive and in the river under the gym. Oh, Groudon! Groudon! Groudon spawned, dude! Dude, 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 dude! Wait, can we catch Groudon? Dude, we can actually go for this, dude. It's level 70. This thing encroached upon me, dude, as I was ending a fight. Do we just train against it? <laughs> I don't know, man. I think, dude, maybe you send out your Empoleon. It just used Earthquake. It just used Earthquake. Dude, maybe you send out a Poyon, dude, and just blast it. And if it survives, throw a Pokeball. No. I, dude, we can't do a level 70. You don't think so? It's not worth losing a Pokemon, right? Yeah. Well, my has level 73, so I, I, I'm Because you're ground tested. super effective against Randy. Yeah, because it's part metal. Mm. And I don't have a flying type. Oh, wait. I have Chug Jug, but like... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Moo. I'm going to send out Moo the Padov. Oh, dear. I'm going to throw a Quick Ball. And then oh, no. if that fails, I just run. No, that's okay, a bad I, idea. The more I think about this, I'm going to lose Pokemon. Here's what I would do, Nick. If my Pokemon was healed and it's not, so maybe in the morning I try this, I would send out Ploopers. No, Jordan, it's super effective against Ploopers. Well, wouldn't the water offset it? No, it doesn't. Don't try that. Groudon is a beast. But it's too difficult to tame. After experiencing Nuzlocke pain earlier, we can't risk catching this Pokemon since it would likely destroy some of our Pokemon, if not our entire teams. It's unfortunately not worth it, man. If, if I had level 80s, I would go for it. Just to at least throw a couple and then get out of there if I needed to. Especially dude, because, no, I don't have a smoke ball. But I might have had something to let me get away. Oh, yeah. If we had like a smoke ball or something with runaway. Let's see if my ramen noodle has runaway. It does have runaway. Okay, I have a plan then. It's going to be sacrificing Moo, but I, it gives me a shot. I'm throwing the quick ball. Chances are I'm not going to get this. I use bulk up. Oh, that's terrifying. I'm going to try to run with just Padov here. It escaped! Moo escaped? What? What is Moo's Dude, ability? Moo is afraid, buddy. <laughs> okay, Moo, you get to live now though. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force you to do that again. I've been described as a stoic warrior often in the comment section. No. Oh, tiny camera up! Oh, it's battling me. I just want to get some zoom in. Is Tiny Camera up? Wait, dude, they don't have a kangaroo Pokemon. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Kangaskhan? No, it's not a kangaroo. Kind of is. Did Genghis Khan go to Australia? No. I'd be highly surprised if he then did. Then why? It's because the names are similar, you buffoon. But they didn't have to be. They did, because it's funny. Ha ha. 
Jordan, when something's funny, you just go, ha ha. Okay, do it. Ha ha. Yeah, there we go. Kangaskhan. Funny. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yes, there we go. Why do I feel pain? You know, I could get rid of Dragon Claw for Dragon Rush, but Dragon Rush has never done me well. Have you ever clicked the button and then it hit? No. Yeah, right? Same. I genuinely have more faith in Sheer Cold and Fisher. I genuinely do. <laughs> Hey, I found an invisible Pokaloo. It's Wave Mail. Wavey. Good thing you found it. Now you can write me a letter. Day 56 was a smooth day of training. Oh, I found a Shell Bell. I've got a Shell Bell. I've had a Shell Bell for years. Get with the times, man. All right, I will. So I have a big old tarp. You think if I got really high in the sky and then held it like a parachute, do you think it would work? Like I'd float safely and have a great time? Well, but let me preface with it. Sometimes you should do bad ideas, Jordan. I say go for it. <laughs> <laughs> that was good music, but do you know what's better? Green Groudon. You found Green Groudon? Whoa, that's so cool looking. It's a primal... Look at him. Dude. Uh-huh. That is so cool. Yeah, again, by the way, don't touch it, but like, yeah, it's you awesome. Yeah, close to it, we're doing <laughs> but like. Oh, dude, a noble started battling me, but I thought it hopped in, and I'm like, no! Look at that thing. After a whole lot more training, I discovered the truth about Nick's unexpected berry wisdom. I don't know if I'm a good therapist, but boy, dude, I could tell you about berries. <laughs> You still don't know how I'm doing. How it. are you doing that, dude? I legit have no idea. How are you doing that? You don't know. You're never gonna know. No, what are you? You, you gotta pull it up on like a, another device? Do you have a book? Did you print it out? Do you have a printer? You'll never know. I probably won't. Will you tell me? Well, you you will know, but <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, it, oh wait. Oh, we have too many items. I'm yeah, so Yeah, you dumb. idiot. <laughs> oh my good. Oh, you shut <laughs> up. Shut your face. <laughs> Close your mouth. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> I am. I, I knew that was gonna. I knew oh. that was gonna you buffoon! I hate you. I'm not happy with you. <laughs> Stop the laughing! The easiest method Shut of up. them all. Shut up! I don't. Oh, I don't really want to so talk about it. So I don't want to talk. Let me just train in peace. All right, man. Can I mute? Oh. <laughs> I'm so angry. Oh man. By the way, I actually did not know that, and that's the reason that got me. I actually just. Oh, yeah. That's really. Oh, it got me too, cause oh man, it, it, there was the build up for it too, you yeah. know. <laughs> it was the build up over like, up dude, wait a minute, show. we started talking about this at like eleven today, and now it's pushing four. That's like yeah. that's how long the joke was. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't gonna tell you, but dude, you would just see oh. me searching in the editing, by the way, the entire time. But I didn't want to oh, like so... give you that hint either that you'll know. What you sort of just editing. did, dude. That's how I came up with it. You said you will know, and that's when I realized what it was. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, shiny houndoom. Oh, boss. Ooh, boss, 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 boss. Okay, boss, okay, boss, good, sorry. good, good. No, no, you're good. I could tell because your voice wasn't, ooh, it wasn't like excitement. It was like- Mild intrigue. Jordan, do you think there is ever a chance in this world? Like, I'm a I'm asking you this actually All right. seriously. All right, okay. okay. Do you think there's ever a shot that I could get into Family Feud and bring just four urns and just be <laughs> the only one who guesses everything? I just like move down and hold each urn as like it's their turn. That's horrible. Do you think there's a shot I could do that? Cause that's hilarious, man. Yeah, there's a shot. There's definitely a shot. Well, like picture that in your head. It's a full family. <laughs> They're all happy. You know, they got a kid there and it's me with four urns and I'm dressed in all black, like funeral attire. Oh, that's horrible. Like, but come on, that would be <laughs> hilarious, right? Dude, tiny duck trio. I accidentally took down immediately, but I was looking for the duck trio on the map. And then guess what? I couldn't find it. It was hiding behind a cactus. It was so small, Jordan. And then it battled me. I got a wall rain who keeps using sheer cold on me. Now, fortunately, I'm 40 levels above him. So it's not going to be a problem, <laughs> but I uh, I respect it, right? He's playing like you. I've met my equal, Nicholas. Dude, I'm going I'm going to battle this boss. Do it's it. a boss number. It's a common boss. It looks completely completely normal. I one shot it with Hydro Pump. It only gave me a power herb and 1,272 experience. Wow, that's a tiny amount. I'm getting better experience from everything else. Blue Garchomp is blue. It's exciting to find boss Pokemon like this, but also terrifying. Hey, I, f hey, I found a Haunted Tower. Yo, this could actually be good training for me. There's blue mail on the top of this Haunted Tower, by the way. Wait, get your grind on. What is that, Jordan? Wait, let me look. Defeat 1,000 Pokemon. <laughs> Okay, Randy's level 100. Let's go. Nasu. I said level 100. Yeah. You know it's not level 100. I didn't know that. You thought it jumped from 88 to 100 that quick? I'm still level 88. You understand how long it takes to... <laughs> 
to level it up now? You think that from you going from 80 to 82, I could go from 88 to 100? I mean, sure, I've done it before and yeah, I do have great looks. I mean, I'm so handsome. Jordan, I just noticed, by the way, because I've seen this too before, Glamio spawn at all the pyramids, and that's lovely. Oh, shiny, shiny normal, shiny normal. Shiny, shiny, Wait, shiny, no, shiny, never shiny. mind, never mind. I saw it it's earlier. A boss. It's a boss. It is a boss. Oh, but it shows up okay. on map. Not as a boss, but as shiny. Oh wait, no, I've, I've already defeated a thousand, Nick. Oh, you may have done it before me then. My next one is 5,000, that's hilarious. I like that I haven't done any of the end stuff, except find an elytra. <laughs> well, you've been battling all the weak ones, so it actually, it made sense. We were a little confused. Ooh, I can get rid of uproar on lobster and learn boom burst. Wow, a shiny boss camera. It looks like blue raspberry. Is it better training than the desert? It depends. There's a couple dry spells every so often. You know what? I want to head over there. But if you come over, there'll be even less ghosts for me to hunt. Haunt or hunt? Yes. On his way to visit me, Nick flies over a savanna plateau, which gives him an opportunity to capture a pyroar. And he does with a tactical metal claw and quick ball. Then he secures a poke hill by finding a randomly spawning Pokemon center before reaching the spooky tower. Wow. My very own water gem. Wait, it's a boss haunted Sableye? Yeah, dude. What does that mean? I don't know, dude. Nick doesn't prefer this training, so he ventures into the woods surrounding the tower to fight worthy opponents like Beware and Furfuru. Jordan, this training is awful. Why do you tell me to come here? You were failing, so you wanted me to fail too? How, what are you talking about? How petty can you be? I think this training is fantastic, so long as you're near the top of the tower, you can rapidly take down level 30 to 50 Haunters, Chandelers, and other spooky foes. Wait, that's a boss Gengar up there, Jordan. Don't go Careful. up there too, too tall, because that Careful could actually that. end it for us. Nick is right. Even though our Pokemon are approaching level 100, a boss Pokemon Pokemon will ignore the rules and go further beyond level 100. This training isn't even good. It is good. The desert is so much better. Nick returns to the desert while I battle a boss chandelier by mistake. Fortunately, I one-shot it. The next morning, I unintentionally battle another boss Pokemon and definitely get desirable loot from it. Did you get any rare candies? I got a X special attack. And? No, that was it. I would make it where every boss Pokemon drops another boss Pokemon. Is a great ball. <laughs> I'm gonna just yeet. Oh, it's X attack. So now I have attack and special attack. No way, man. The Elite Four will weep. This is not a boss stealth box, and it's level 99. Dude, it's gotta be a common boss because that's five levels above your highest level right now. It was a boss, okay. It, d it didn't look like a boss. I didn't like that. Uh, lady, you are in a cactus. You're you're genuinely in it. Never mind. Bloopers is several levels under Randy. But we still decide to compare our stats on our starters. 247. Yeah, mine's 225 for the nature. What's its speed though? 158 speed. I'm 171. Get destroyed. I'm gonna fly over this way too because the town's over here. You trying to take over my desert? Yeah. You can't. I'll battle you. We continue to train until sunset. We're spending significant time preparing for the Elite Four since we need to to ensure that we're fully prepped to take them on since any mistakes could cost us our Pokemon. Pokemon that we've grown more and more attached to as the days progress. I'm battling a Dark Mach at level 107. Oh, it gave me a rare candy and an Eviolite. The Eviolite doesn't actually help me right now, but uh. It's true, but finally, something at least mildly useful. Very useful, dude. <laughs> I need 16 XP to be level 99. Hey man, I found a coral reef. I haven't been here. I'm gonna go catch something. I caught Pukamuku. So now I gotta give it a name that's slightly better than Pukamuku. I named him Gooball. Not Swordfish. I would have named him Swordfish. All right, Jordan, are you ready for something kind of crazy? What's poppin', Nick? One Hydro Pump, and I believe Randy should be level 100. Yo, yo, dude. There we go, Jordan. Dude. The stats aren't getting better than this there. That is a level 100 Empoleon, look at him. And the funniest thing about it is, you know, he's an ordinary sized one, but he's still quite large because I'm pretty sure they get bigger with the level. He just tried killing me, bad Randy. Dude, this guy's got a Heatran. What, who, a, a trainer? Just this, yeah, this random guy, man, he's got a Heatran. All right, you may have found the next boss of the series, dude. Well, Be I mean, careful. It's, Jordan, Jordan, it's level 39. <laughs> oh. He just crit me with ancient power for eight damage on Randy. Let, let him have his moment, Nick, just lose. <laughs> I don't think I could. Jordan, 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 Jordan. I just defeated a boss still a cobra, okay? Whoa, whoa, okay. And I got an old rod. I found a floodstone, which I actually kind of like. It's not as good as your old rod, but like, no, I, mean, I was no. just saying. I'm gonna leave that on the ground for generations. Dude, why does it got the move Mega Drain still? Does it not learn any moves? It learns Giga Drain at level 28, but it uh, it doesn't have it. Amogus is level 80. Amogus, 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 Amogus. Jordan, I found the green hat lady. I'm gonna battle. 
Valor with my level 100 Randy. She's level 15. She's got a Leafeon. Level 15. <laughs> well, mine would definitely win a beauty contest. Well, Randy is gorgeous, and you know that. All right, man. Well, I want to get started to knock out some building, but let me show you my team first, huh? Oh, yeah. I haven't seen it in ages, dude. Howdy. All right, well, first off, I got Boppin, then my other fire wizard, Charmander. Then I got Arnold, the Arbok, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rooster, the Meganium, Hippie, the Hippowdon, and finally, the one and only Ploopers. I'm a little scared for you, but it's a decent roster. We might as well compare teams there. My team's a little smaller than yours, but Herman's pretty large. I just got three nether stars. That's kind of crazy. What, what, what will this guy give me? He gave me 10 blaze rods. The loot we received for finishing these quests, as well as the items we found on our journey throughout the world, will be useful for creating our lost Pokemon memorial, as well as creating a sick Hall of Fame to celebrate if we, I mean, when we, defeat the Elite Four, as well as help us reach both the end and nether to explore, train, and capture new Pokemon. Okay, let's look at some moves here. Ah, oh, Giga Drain, I can buy Giga Drain. Yo, finally. Now we get started building. We want to complete both the Graves and Hall of Fame area before attempting to defeat the Elite Four. Stop, it's a grave, Jordan. No, that's just not right. A proper Viking burial. While Nick completes the somber task of building the graveyard, I'm deep underground, mining obsidian to prep our nether portal. There's a Vika Volt at spawn, dude. Our training has pumped up the Pokemon even in this area, dude. This is very pleasant, dude. Thank you. <laughs> it's unpleasant too, though. It's somber, but I mean, good work, Nick. We're gonna work on the Hall of Fame next, but during the grave it is done for now, Jordan. I really don't like the way you said for now. Well, well, hopefully done in general, like as in I don't want to have to add anyone else to this, Jordan. But we got Bedazzle here. Serve me well, Jordan. Petonia! Petonia! <laughs> Football soccer! <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I know, the name is funny though. And tartar sauce. Oh man, it's the sad reality of what a Nuzlocke can do. And now, Jordan, I'm gonna go into my box and I'm going to officially release them. All right, yeah, I'm gonna do likewise now too. Mm, man! Oh, you have to drag them to a trash can! Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's horrible! No! Oh, all right, goodbye, buddies. We're gonna go to bed now. Then we're gonna get the Hall of Fame set up. Then, before actually adding any Pokemon, obviously, we're gonna get to work getting fully set up to take down the Elite Four and see how far we can get. The next morning, Nick begins mining for more materials to build the Hall of Fame with while I build a quick Nether portal. Well, Jordan, do you wanna go to the Nether and just catch a Pokemon real quick? I only have two Pokeballs. That's enough. Let's go! <laughs> I found a Slugma, Jordan. Slugma is what I found first. All right, well, the first Pokemon I found is Salazzle. So I'm gonna catch this bad boy real quick and then I will scoot on out because I will run out of Pokeballs. I mean, Metal Claw wouldn't take down Slugma, would it? <laughs> Ekans, I found an Ekans in- Okay, I'm just awkward jetting it. I'm gonna scoot back to the main world, dude. Whenever you get back, I'll show you Salamando. Ooh, I should grab some Glowstone and what in the world? Is this? Is that honey? I think this is honey. Nick finishes collecting the nether loot before returning to construct the Hall of Fame. Ooh, wild chestnut. I'm gonna go take it down. I get some last minute training in while Nick figures out the Hall of Fame design. You know, I kinda need to go back in the nether and get stuff, okay? While Nick collects materials from the nether, I notice that we're fully prepped to find the stronghold to reach the end. I gathered stacks of ender pearls by taking down the Pokemon at the spooky tower, and Nick gathered blaze rods through quests and maybe even has drops from some of the fiery desert Pokemon. Regardless, we're fully set to seek out the end just from our general success during the previous days. Eh, I found it immediately, dude. Registeel has spawned in the highland biome? Wait, 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 wait. That's gotta be where I am. I guess come on over, dude, because we don't want it to despawn. I feel like it's down in the fortress, dude. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, Nick. Hey, let's go. Oh, that <laughs> looks so cool. Wait, get rid of the water now. Or you I did. did a while ago. Registeel, if you're here, let, let us know. Yeah, dude, I'm not seeing it, unfortunately, dude. My guess is that it despawned on my way over here. Well, dude, let's hop into the end together, dude. We can catch something cool there. Do you mind tossing me a Pokeball or two? Woo! Oh, the first Pokemon I saw was a Gathita, dude. I see Wobbuffet, dude! There's Trompas here, even, man! Nick captures the Gothita and I take down Wobbuffet. Oops. And then we begin to take down the Ender Dragon so we can get out of here. Look at this Lunar Tone. It looks so funky. Dude, that's a special form. Wait, is is it really? I, I, that's 100% a special form. Uh, Cause that is not right. That does not look right. I, that counts as something you can catch. That's so cool looking. Oh no, I use crunch. Oh no. Ah, Jordan. 
whoops. Well, after that, we escape the end and Nick finishes designing the Hall of Fame. The next morning, we decide on a time to take on the Elite Four. Dude, I feel like we should go on day 95. Let's wait one more day. Yeah, wait one more day. We'll go chill out. We'll get some training done, get fully prepped. Oh, I need to buy potions. The starting town shop didn't have the items we were looking for, so Nick heads off to a shop that I had luck in earlier. I wrote down the coordinates specifically for this purpose if it became necessary. Okay, you better have some full restores. Uh, hyper potions are good. Did you loot the Pokemon Center here? No. Fool! Nick grabs some items from the Pokemon Center and then is about to pop off. Drew, I'm about to pop off. You don't even understand. Bro, I don't. I got eight Hydro Pumps now. And I, I, I could do another, but I physically can't add more. Oh. So you know what else I'm gonna do? Eh. 11 Earthquakes. Bro. Okay, we get the training in that we can, Jordan. And then tomorrow, at the crack of dawn, we start. This guy gave me a Lytra. I don't even know what the quest was. Here is one pair of Elite Tractors. I am so excited, dude. Yeah, baby. Let's go. It's so hype, isn't it? I'm actually really happy about it. Wait, wait, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, I had to take the new Elite You'll have to repair those or something, you know? Dude. <laughs> oh, Jordan. It's the morning. It's the morning. It's time to go, dude. So the first person that we are battling, dude, is Aaron, dude. He starts with the Omega, ends with the Drapion. Every level's from 65 to 69, all right? This overall bug, I'm gonna start with Graveler. Go, Graveler! So yep, there's the Omega as we thought. Bug Buzz, oh, how does that still do 64 damage to me with my typing and everything? That's crazy. Heracross, that's gonna have a fighting move. Karate Chop, yeah, it did 10, 10 damage to me. And now all I have to do is hit him with a Psychic and he he should get taken should down. Should be Throw done. Chop, yeah, yeah. Still not too bad. I'm fairy. Oh, but he sent out a steel type. Jordan, I'm actually terrified here. You don't understand. Earthquake. Critical hit. Let's go. Drapion. I'm just going to hit him with an earthquake. Dude, I mean, it should one shot it, right? Yeah. Vespaquin. Oh. Uh, I might just keep Lobster out. I think this is the last one, dude. I'm going to Dragon Claw. That did half. What is it going to use? Use attack order. This is the last one, dude. If you take it down, you win. Well, Jordan, look at me because I just won. Woo! Add a I dude. didn't bring my AA game. I, I get it. AA Ron. I'm probably going to go with my Charmander and hopefully I can just flamethrower everything. <laughs> Boom, baby. Oh, Drapion's the right pick for him here, though. I can't risk a fire move. Do I match it and send out my Hippowdon? Yeah, that would be a good play. <laughs> I'm going to do that and then just earthquake his world. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but if you want advice from me, I mean, I'll, I'll certainly give it to you. <laughs> I'll request it at the very least, dude. Yeah, that didn't hurt me at all. I should be able Look to. Look at Tiny Drapion. It's Tiny Drapion. It's oh, it's a it's baby. <laughs> That's really funny, man. Please, Fire Fang, so crit. Small. Whoa, that earthquake was massive, dude. I'm actually not in too much danger here. I am going to switch you to my Yeah, they bopping. can't hurt the pad on. Do you not have a rock type move? No, I don't have a rock type move. If it doesn't crit, I'm good. Even if it crits, you're fine. Okay, good, good, good. The sandstorm took it out. Now you don't want to keep Hippie out, though. Absolutely not. Okay, I'm going to send out my Charmander? Charmander, because then you can take down Heracross easy, too. It used double team. That's a little scary if you can't, like, one shot it with flamethrower. Oh, dude, it missed though. No, no. Uh oh, dude. This dude, is bad. Dude, this is, and this it's got dicey. X scissor. This is, this is so bad. Flamethrower hit. Flamethrower hit. Flamethrower hit. Dude, dude, dude. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, what do you do here? I'm part psychic. I think you I flamethrower. You switch out to Talon Flame 100%, right? I think I flamethrower. Because what if your speed's bad? I mean, I don't understand why you would risk it. All right. I'll send out Boppin, but all I have is flame. Okay. Yeah, I'll send out Boppin. This will be fine. This will be fine. I should be fine. Please don't. Realize throw chop. flying <gasps> is quad effective. Dude, dude flying throw is chop would have. It would have taken you down based on speed. Yeah. It would have taken me down. Flying's quad effective, by the way. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna. I'm gonna use fly. Don't you worry about it. And it, you burned it too. Rock yeah. Rock. There we go, Jordan. Oh. If it wasn't for me there, you may have lost your Pokemon, your, your Charmander there. Yeah. Heal everything up big time. Okay, Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's Bertha, dude. We're going against the ground type legend, man. The levels range from level 66 to 71, dude. But it looks like they're all, unlike the last one, they're all part ground just like the other matching type, but they're all kind of weak to stuff like water, dude. With the exception, dude. Yeah, is there anything Randy couldn't take down? <laughs> Not really, dude. Whiskash could be a weird one, though. Let's go, Amogus! Yeah, and there it is. Jordan, look at this Giga Drain. Look at that. Look Boom, at that. Boom, baby. Wow, Golem. well done, Nick. You're gonna use, Good work, You're gonna buddy. use Golem against Amogus? <laughs> That's kind of sus. We defeat Earth without much difficulty. Nick's Amogus and Randy end up one-shotting her entire team. And then I've been taking down Hippowdons in the desert Good all work, day, dude. every day. 
You just beat an elderly woman! Well, hmm. Yes. Jordan, guess what? What? I didn't take a point of damage that fight. Well done, man. Even with switching out, she missed. I play the fight just like Nick. My Rooster the Meganium and Ploopers the Empoleon succeed and back to back one shots until I win. Bertha was just weak against us, is what it was. We both had our Empoleons. Oh, Jordan, we're about to be battling Flint. I'm just gonna use Lobster. These lobsters, uh, super not, like, they can't hurt lobster. At all. One thing to be wary of, the only weird type that he has, dude, that's not just pure fire, pretty much, is Infernape, all right? Just be weary of that and everything else, dude. Lobster is so good against this. I'm just gonna go lobster. Earthquake time. Earthquake time describes the entirety of this battle. I'm dragon. I'm ground. Wow, what dude. are they gonna do to me? I guess I'm fired. I think I just rock and roll with this. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. Um, I do oh, you worried me. I think you're fine now. You you went through it, but I, I think Hippie was the play. Oh no, I accidentally just clicked the wrong move, but it shouldn't matter. Oh, uh, <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> oh, you got I'm burnt use Brian. too. I'm gonna use Brian. I'm gonna use Brian and then run. Okay, Jordan. I'm done. I'm sorry. You're like <laughs> trying to lose this, I'm telling you. You're trying to lose this. I'm really not, dude. Hey, Jordan, I like living on the edge. <laughs> and I like forgetting my bed. Where'd he go? <laughs> I am gone. Wait, that heals our Pokemon. Would that be allowed? Oh, wait, wait, no, it's- Well, to be fair, my Pokemon are full HP and I have elixirs and stuff. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, no, we're good. I healed my Pokemon before I did that. So we're all good. All right, dude, we're battling our boy Lucian, Lucian dude. So it looks like his weirdest pick is maybe Bronzong, but you gotta be aware of his strongest, which is Gallade, all right? A lot of fighting types, dude, that can destroy us here if they're good, you know? Oh, Psychic did a lot of damage. I did take him down. Dude, Alakazam yeah. could one-shot any of my Pokemon right now. I'm kind of scared yeah. to switch out. Yeah, it's terrifying to switch out. And he kind of buttered up your Graveler, well, though. Well, if I sent out Lentil, there's no way he would do too much damage to Lentil, right? I think Amogus is better to switch out to because he's such a tank. Wait, I'm poisoned! Wait, I need to know. Wait, let me look it up. Dude, your grass poison. Get out of there, Nick! I'm gonna have to tank some hits now that you use Future Sight, though. Dude, you're in a really bad spot. Go Lentil! This is my only hope. I've gotta- If she gets double hit, though, she's done so. Psyshock didn't do too much to me. I should be fine, and I can use Hyper Potions, Jordan. Okay. Right? Okay. Oh, oh, right. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. You should be good. I crit it. I've got the Shell oh, Bell. Oh, oh. The Future Sight took effect. Okay, you're good. You're good. And I didn't take too much damage. I no, do need to switch out no matter what here, though. Dude! It's Randy. It's Randy 100%. Hydro Pump should just blast it, I think. Yeah. And then Gallade. Gallade's scary. Gallade's scary. I'm going to use Drill Pack. There's no way I don't take it down with the Drill Pack. Yeah. Nice. There well we done. Go. Smart. Well done, buddy. Espeon? Maybe just a little bit of a hydro pump. Wow, I don't nice. miss. I really right, got stuck wow. in a jam there. All right, yeah, no, I got it. I think that my plan is to send out Hippowdon and use Crunch several times. This is looking rough already. Well, it's because he's fairy, Jordan. Why is he fairy? Use a hyper potion. <gasps> I can do that. Jordan, you would lose so hard without me. No, no, I don't have hyper potions. I have max potions, Nick. Oh, that won't do, Jordan. Ah! Ah, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Your uh, special defense was just decreased. You really need to switch out. With Nick's guidance, I'm able to find success against Lucian. Hey, Jordan, stop missing. It's got Leaf Blade, wow, dude. Wow, it is. Oh, oh, 25 HP. Use the max HP. potion and hope it doesn't get a crit. Yeah, exactly. Well, dude, that was because Future Sight hit. Nom, 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 nom. You know what? I'm still going to go for it. The Fisher BM. No, Jordan. <laughs> can you, Jordan, you realize what? that it might... It, I guess it doesn't. I thought it might even have levitate. You gotta understand though, Jordan, Cynthia is leagues above the rest. Actual leagues. Nicholas, I must prove that I have bad manners. It is the only way to play. To make it more realistic to real life right now. Oh man, dude. This is just like real life right now. Oh, this is epic. This is epic. Wait, is it raining right where she is pretty much? Togedemaru just started battling me. I didn't expect to train up here. Nick isn't joking, by the way. While we were recording this, a thunderstorm shook up the real world. <laughs> this is epic. It looks like, dude, she will likely start with her patent pending spirit tomb, dude, ending with Garchomp, dude. The levels are basically 74 all the way to 78, dude. And her team is beastly. Dude, this is gonna be the hardest battle. I don't actually know if I can beat it. It's gonna be so close. Go lobster. Let's start right. this battle with an earthquake. Not a one shot. Earthquake didn't take it down. Hopefully she doesn't get spikes or something. Dark Pulse, Dark good, Pulse, good, good, good. Dude, that did 79 damage though. It's That's a lot of a damage, lot. dude. I thought she was gonna use spikes or something to really set herself up. Look at that spirit tomb. It is super sick. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it down anyways. My low tick. I do need to switch out for my low tick. Amogus thinks my low tick is sus. She she might ice beam you, dude. I'm a tank. Oh, if it crit, I was done. Ah, it froze oh, me. Oh, dude. Do I have enough HP to Giga Drain again? I think you go for it, dude. You better not lie to me. I've been frozen <laughs> solid. Oh no. Wait. Okay, you gotta get out of there now. No, no, I you don't. Have to use Jordan. The Are you sure? 
Are you sure? I have one singular full restore. Do it, buddy. Woo! Woo! All right. All right. Hopefully, it doesn't freeze you again. Okay, dude. Okay. She has a chance to freeze you one more Don't time crit. before you get off your- Oh, wait. I went first. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, okay, nice. then. Okay. Nice. Okay. Togekiss, sure, dude. Very flying. It's dark. Look at those clouds, man. I this know, is, dude. This is actually kind of epic. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of intense, dude. I'm not going to lie, man. Graveler would be the right play here because I'm rock and fire. So I'm resistant to pretty much everything except Aura Sphere. It could have Aura Sphere. It used Air Slash and it missed, though. It used Yawn? It's got Yawn? Nyx Graveler, glowing in the night sky, takes down Togekiss. But then Cynthia sends out her signature Pokemon. This is her highest level Pokemon, dude. I think Lentil's the play. I think I put it all on Lentil. Yeah, yeah, no, I think you're right. Because what's she going to use that could take it down? Well, maybe Dig or something? There are moves. Even Earthquake would Well, be let's massive. find out. Earthquake, yeah. Earthquake? Earthquake's okay. big. I can tank one more Earthquake, but I'm hoping that I won't even have to. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, please one shot it. Please one shot it. Please one shot it. Yes! Wait. Oh, dude. No, there's dude, Lucario, the which is still in fighting. I do need to switch out. You do. You got to get out of there. That's metal. Okay, Jordan. Do you think I do something crazy and send out Herman and see if Herman? I've got to have all I my do. Pokemon. Wait, is this our last Pokemon? No, Roserade. She saw his Roserade. Okay, well, I'm going to send out Herman, Jordan. This could be a really bad decision. Herman, okay, please okay. don't die. Please don't die, Herman. Please, please don't, don't die. die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Use Earthquake. Die. I've got Earthquake. Yes, yes, dude. Yes, dude. Maybe okay. a little bit of a extra sensory coming up oh, here. Oh, I'm really mm. worried, man. I'm really, really worried, dude. <laughs> I'm scared. I was faster. Last one, dude. I feel like I've got to send out Randy for this. Are you right? insane? What if you get one? Uh, okay. Randy hasn't gone to fight yet. I've got to make it happen, Joe. Oh, dude, you're egoing it. You're egoing this, Nick. I know, but also. Energy ball? Oh, that you didn't do all too much. That did didn't it, do you? anything, dude. I mean, think about it. Okay. I'm steel. I'm also steel. I mean, yeah, but you're a penguin. And a drill dude, pack is won. all you I won. needed. You Congratulations. You, you beat the 100 days hardcore Nuzlocke. You beat the hardcore Nuzlocke, Nick. Dude, that battle was tough. Uh, <sighs> we definitely had enough oh. time, Jordan, oh. to train oh. to beat Cynthia here. But okay. will you be able to so take her down now. as well? So we won now. We get to go home. No, Jordan, I won. Okay. We don't know about you. Is there anything good to send out against Spirit Zoom? Well, think about what comes next, Jordan. Think about what comes next. The Milotic. All right, I'll, I'll try Bloopers. Let's just see how far Bloopers can get, honestly. I just avoided it. Oh, and Embargo. <gasps> she embargoed me. Is you can't use match? items on Is bloopers. that for the entire match? No, I think it's just Bloopers. Oh, okay. I'm out of Hydro Pumps. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, Jordan, you know what to do here, right? Brine? I mean, yeah, Brine probably is enough. The Earthquake <gasps> is scary. Dude, 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 dude. I gotta get out of here. You've gotta right? get out of here. Yeah. Okay, okay, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Earthquake, dragon moves. Do I send out my I'm gonna send out Town Flame. I'm gonna I'm gonna see. So long as he doesn't pull off some weird tech, I should be good. You just don't have break, anything break. that can damage break, 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 him super well though. Okay. Uh, I have fly, steel wing, brave bird, flame charge. I'm gonna use steel wing because flame charge isn't gonna be effective, and hopefully this just all right. I mean it's not good, dude. Dragon rush miss. I dragon rush could all right, I'm, could I'm gonna could pull off dunk. a fly, dude. I think it'll actually hurt it just because of the stab effect that town flame will have on it. it Let would me see that. Nice. I agree. Boom. Yeah. Yes, let's fine. go. Now okay, you need loadic. to switch out though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna send out rooster now, dude. This is what I initially was gonna send out first. And it kind of looks like a rooster now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, it's got the neck thing a little bit, yeah. I'm going to actually bust out some tech first, dude. What are you going to do? Light screen. It used mirror coat and I used light screen. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now oh, that's I can actually also, beautiful. It's going to do it again, dude. I'll use this. Oh, use ice beam that time. Okay, it's th she's thinking about it now. I'm going to magical leaf. Take it down, Jordan. You got a crit, Jordan. It didn't do too much damage. And now it used aqua ring. That's fine because Nick, I'm also annoying. All right, man. Boom, baby. Oh, uh, Jordan. With Rooster's light screen reflect and synthesis, I can go toe to toe with Cynthia's healing strategy. Plus, my type advantage doesn't hurt either. Our grass Pokemon were both tanks. Roserade, let me send out my Charmander. I don't think she'll have a move to counter it, dude. Sludge Bomb, uh, it dealt. Also, that did a lot of damage. It didn't go halfway. She could get a crit and kill me, but I could also flamethrower and well, I think one shot her. What if there's a dark move? I'm flamethrowing. I'm risking it all. I'm risking it all. My quick call, let me move first. We'll never know. Oh, baby! I mean, Jordan, are you going to keep Charmander? Up? I can use Psychic. What do you think? Do I risk it? I think Flamethrower would be better. Yeah, I'm going to hit it with Flamethrower. I think it's guaranteed to hit. I should one-shot it. Please one-shot it. Yeah, baby! Togekiss here. Okay. Oh, no! I didn't mean to click. Oh, no. I hope it doesn't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay. <laughs> Switch okay. out, okay. buddy. Okay. Okay. Switch okay. out. Okay. Hey, wait, wait. Dude, I got it. I got it. I'll set up. I'll and you stealing. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, you're- It avoided the attack. Boppin is a beast, Nick. It is good. And you burnt it as well. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over, baby. It's over. It's over. I got it. I got it. Still wing. Still wing for the win. Still wing for the win. Yes, 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 You did it too, Jordan. We both made it through. 
Let's <laughs> go! Take yes. that! Woo, 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 oh woo. man! Woo! Woo! Oh. <laughs> Later. She's move, dead. Turn, move. Nick, she's she's dead. Woo! We are the new champions. No, no, you don't get to do a dirt. <laughs> you think higher is better, but no, that dirt tower just makes you look a little odd. Well, congrats, dude. Good work, buddy. All right, I'll let you rest for the evening, and then we will go on our Pokemon in the Hall of Fame. I have a proposition for you. All right, I know what it's going to be, but lay it on me anyway. We're going to go to the Hall of Fame, and we're going to get that set up. But Jordan, after that, we're going to have days to train up until day 100. So just a few days to train, and then we're going to battle to see who is the true champion. All right, I'm down, but do the Nuzlocke rules apply? Or are we good? That's going to be the end, Jordan. Okay, it's just the end. It's the end no matter That's what. It's just going to be the end. I'm down, man. Let's kick it, Nick. Jordan, we got the Hall of Fame all finished out. This is going to be so cool. Let's look at mine first, okay, Jordan? Yeah, man. Look at that and watch that. He dabs, Jordan. We got Lentil. Lentil still looks worried as if we're not the champion, you know. We got Amokus. Amokus. Wait. I knew you were hiding in there, Togan, tomorrow. <laughs> then we got Graveler. Beautiful man. Not a Graveler, though. Well, on the other side, we got my dabbing and bully on bloopers. Oh, yeah. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. He's going to do it. <laughs> Right next to Boppin' the Talonflame, dude, Rooster the Meganium, Hippie the Hip on, and something really intriguing, dude. I didn't even notice the different pattern, dude, that is on my Arbok. I didn't notice it until now because I caught it in the... I think I caught it at night. Yeah, you've got a special form. That's so cool looking. Yeah, man. Into Charmander the Delphox. That's so great, Jordan. That's so great. Look at these good looking teams. Look at them. These are the teams we have three days left to train before the real final battle goes down. But before before we get to training, you gotta come over here first, okay? To go pay homage and respect to our fallen Pokemon. Press F for respect. Okay, well, now we did that. All right, yep, time to train. <laughs> oh. Good work, everybody. Go team. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I feel really bad. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty happy that at least it's not more. <laughs> <laughs> I expected you to have a dude, much larger dude, graveyard. I, th I thought I was going to have like two or three casualties in the Elite Four run. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect you to make it there. Wait, you can ride Arbok? That's awesome. Look at that. Woo! Nick heads to his favorite training location while I travel further than ever before into an icy tundra. A level 99 trainer with a hip on top? Don't mind if I do. With only a hip on top? I kind of hope he only has that. So the tundra is the best place to train is what we just found out. Okay, I just beat two level uh, 89 Weezings. After hearing about my advanced training, Nick ventures into the cold to attempt similar training. Well, I found my own trainer. What level? I don't know. She's not wearing appropriate clothing for the climate, I don't feel like. <laughs> Yo, Randy, that's a Barboche level 92. The high level Pokemon in this area make it the place to train. We'll spend the rest of the day here before beginning our final battle on the dawn of day 100. I can never win a battle in the ocean. Well, there's your problem. You think you're in the ocean. Ocean. Are you battling the bear tick? Yes. No, yes. I'm yes, already battling yes, yes. it. Yes. No, I'm battling it. I'm already battling it. I'm currently battling I'm it. I'm battling it as we speak. Can I take down a legendary cub chew? I'm gonna go for it. It's level 140. As long as it doesn't one shot gravelly here. Powder snow. Okay, cool. I just took down level 140, Jordan. <laughs> I got a rare candy and a splash plate. As the sun sets, we begin our return flight to where this journey began and where our final battle will take place. Okay, Jordan, everything but revives are allowed, okay? Okay, send down three, two, one, go! Oh, that's bad for you. <laughs> oh, that's bad for you, friend. More. Ah, 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 I kind of thought that would do more. Is this, am I doomed? No. I really thought you were going to switch out. Don't. Uh, I don't have any fire moves. I, yeah, I know you don't, because I've seen your moves, man, and I, I knew what to do. Except you, I lied! <laughs> nice heat <laughs> crash. <laughs> Go bloopers. I didn't see the stealth rocks hurt you. All right, you're done, so, dude. By the way, I mean, you're, you're just, you're going to get destroyed. You've, you've blown Says it, dude. the guy who didn't give yourself a flying move on bloopers. I don't think it will matter. I think it will. Do you want to know why? I think it will, Jordan. I will one-shot you with Hydro. Uh-oh. I yeah, think it will maybe. matter. Oh, wait. I, I forgot. Don't, Grass isn't I good against Empoleon. You goofball. That's awkward. Hey, but you missed, Jordan, so get out of here. How did Amogus? Amogus. 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 No, not Amogus. Not Amogus. Go, Charmander. You're being so sus, brother. 
Thanks for the health, brother. No probs, man. Are you ready for the one shot of the century, Nicholas? I know that you're going to use Psychic. How would you know that? Because I'm cheating. Why wouldn't I use Flamethrower? I'm, I'm wall hacking. I'm gonna use Flamethrower. <gasps> I knew you would do that, and that's why I used Psychic. Yeah, but I knew you were going to use Psychic, and I didn't care. No, you didn't. It still would have been super no! effective against me. All right, let me see if oh, I would. an easy Pokemon to destroy. All right, Arnold. You haven't fought anyone yet. It's time for you to show them what you're made of. Uh, Jiren, I'm super effective against- Why? Because you're poison and I'm ground. Ground is super effective against poison? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is, Jiren. And uh, by so the when, way- When did that patch go through? Uh, no! I'm also what? super effective against you. Where, where, when did this patch go through? Don't worry, you can't one-shot me now with Earthquake because I have- Yeah, use, use a ground move, Jiren. See what it does. Do you have levitate? I, uh, I do. <laughs> this is a sad, this is a lobster, sad day for lobster, me. Lobster, lobster, oh, oh, lobster, no, 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 no. lobster. Double edge, double edge, double edge with a crit, baby! There's a crit! Boom. What? That's crazy. Right, That's man, illegal. Right, That's man, not right, allowed. Right, man, all right, man. All right, all right, I'm gonna get your drain. Right. I'm going to do something incredible. Like what? This. Yeah, I was really hoping you'd forget about that. <laughs> I'm going to change my entire strategy. You're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> heal. Wait, does you it, miss? Did it, I you, missed. You were. Why did it? Why did they all? Why did they? When they didn't have to, they missed. I knew you were gonna switch. Why was that not super effective? Are you not part rock? All right, rooster. Rooster, rooster, you, rooster. Well, rooster, 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 rooster,